What's up? Can everybody hear me? And by everybody, I mean all two of y'all watching. Okay, hey, what's up, everyone? Okay. Cool. All right, let's see who we got here. Who we got here? What's going on? Hakai Animations, Scarlet Dude, Adam Gonzalez, Ricardo, toying around. Kevin, what's going on? Oh, we got three with with Kevin. Okay. Three million. Oh man, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get writer's block with everybody watching. Look at that bad boy right there. Who looks sweet. What's up, Chiefs Toys? Congratulations again on the win from 796 Studios. That's a good win right there. All right, let's see what we got. We got seven people in the stream. I think we should either wait for like, I don't know, eight people to come on. Make sure everybody's good and settled in. Got something to drink. Let's see. Yeah, Chief, that's that's a cool dial, man. It's gonna be cool to cool to see that. What's going on, Chamba? Yup, we got this unboxing right here. Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest. I just gotta apologize to uh, Hasbro right now. I thought they left me out. Turns out post office was keeping my box, and uh, I finally got it. So. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all could join this and uh, see this uh, monumental occasion right here. All right, Kai Animations got his popcorn ready. Cool. I should have got popcorn or a drink or some alcohol. Turn around. Guess Hasbro ran out of boxes. I think so. Uh, they sent me. Let's see. They sent me one of the smaller boxes for some uh, army builders, and uh, I think they didn't want to use those small boxes. They wanted to send me a lot of stuff, so they had to get a different box. But uh, let's see. Scarlet Kid looks like the post office had to repack it. You know, they might have rummaged through there, knowing there was some hotness in there. Had to make sure that uh, it was all uh, street legal. Let's see, Ricardo. Now tell me how you're not some Hasbro CEO when you get the new figs they just announced. Um, I can know, I cannot confirm nor deny that. Just, just so you're aware. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, there you go. See, see, Kevin Chamba says he couldn't miss it. This is major, major package right here. Uh, this is either gonna make it or break it for Hasbro with me. I'll either love them even more. Or love them slightly less. We don't know yet. Scarlet Kid, undercover CEO. I mean, it could happen. See right there, Hasbro. They even put some uh, some insulation to bumper it in case it was getting all shaky in the post office truck, and. Uh, to avoid it from damage. So I like that. I appreciate that. Adam Gonzalez, man, can't wait to see what's in the box. Oh, me neither, man. It's been it was it was sealed up pretty good. So, you know, I think they used some scotch tape on there. I didn't want to, you know, they didn't want anything to fall out before it got to me. I appreciate that care that they took in that. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Get a drink of my my sweet tea here. All right. Well, we got seven people. Oh my goodness. The stream might go down with seven people trying to watch at the same time. See, there you go, Scarlet Kid. 356 points for one piece of insulation. And uh, they did stamp fragile on it a few times. So there's that as well. Let's see, Hakai Animation exclusive box design, maybe. I think that it might look slightly different from everyone else's so that they knew this one came to me and everybody else got the other box. So that's my only, you know, thought behind it being a more uh, uh, noticeable 
box like that. Mr. Cortez, one, two. What's going on, man? Texas in the house. Let's see what we got. Nine people. Ooh, we're almost hitting double digits now. It's getting me all excited. All kinds of excited right now. Uh, let me see here. There we go. All right, cool. Let's see. Scarlet Care. I got it from Hasbro. There we go right there. Actually, that might be a two in there. I'm not sure. It might be Hasbro's second branch. But uh, let's look at the intricate details that are on there. So let's see. What time is it? 10.08. All right. I'm getting excited already. Let's get this down right here. There we go. So, oh, look, we hit double digits. Let's go to get started. Let's open this up right here. Uh, let's see. Pull out the trusty pocket knife. Cut the tape open. All right. Can't wait to see what's going on here. Let's see. The, to the Toby Dream Life. Love me some Sunny. You got that exclusiveness. Thank you, man. Thank you. I did get the exclusives. All right. Let's see. Scarlet Kid one coming. It now exclusive for custom inside calling it. Oh, you think they stole my designs? Oh, I don't know. Let's see, oh man. Oh, this is good. There's some really good stuff in here. So let's see. First thing we got here. Let's see. Chamba Hasbro Hasbro five level five clearance box. There you go. Right there. Adam Gonzalez, are you a Texas Rangers fan, Sonny? I don't really watch uh, baseball. So uh, go whatever team is in Texas. Astros, Rangers. Astros cheated, though. But, you know, they got away with it for a long time. What's going on, Clockwork Orgy? Good to see you in here. All right. So let's see what we got here first. Okay. Okay. All right. It's looking good so far. Uh, let's see. So they did package... A figure for me they got it wrapped up nice and tight right there uh what's going on dark uh game guru 11 i don't know what you want to call me here you want to use your darth name darth but uh what's going on man tony which we'll you tony uh but we do we got the first thing here we got uh let me get all this wrapping off of it right here we got a headless iron man figure right there uh they must want to uh try to uh include themselves in some of the foiled customs so they probably expect me to make a make an exclusive foiled customs tony stark head for that body which i might have to do since they were so gracious to send me this body right here to work with this this buck if you will uh let's see oh we got plasti addict doing here what's going on plasti so that is the first item right there. Iron Man body. There we go. All right. Prime to the first. What's going on, man? Glad you can make it. Exactly. See, Chamba got it. Thinking about their fans. Good job, Hasbro. And they wrapped it in toilet paper because they know there may be another toilet paper shortage coming soon. And they wanted to make sure that me and my family were covered. So good job. On using that toilet paper that is clearly reusable right there let's see tear it now he said what's going on man yeah chamba the figure wrapping is mint uh, I'm pretty sure Dan Yoon was like personally like hey let's make sure it's wrapped it's wrapped good so shout out to Dan Yoon for making sure that that happened uh, let's see what else we got oh okay all right so uh it looks like uh they threw in a dial piece for me uh they know that i've been starting to get all my articulated comic book art stuff better so they threw in this dial piece for me so let's see it just you know sit right there they put the figure on that dial piece so shout out to hasbro i didn't know that they were making these uh dial pieces yet but hopefully y'all be seeing them in store soon hopefully they're not a walgreens exclusive and y'all can pick them up but uh that dial piece right there let's see 
Oh, uh, what's up, Wolfpack Toy Review? Glad y'all can make it. Let's see. Terrible. Yeah, you said it right, but Four Customs is amazing. That Four Customs does some good job. Uh, let's see. Yeah, prompt to the first dial piece for the Sentinel. Clearly, this is some sort of base for the Sentinel. Um, it is in the gray color. Uh, kind of give that drab look, so I like it. Uh, let's see. What up, Sonny? Oh, what's up, Pablo Lopez? Chamba could be the new Fantastic car. Hey, that's true. It could. It seats four if I use it this way. That is a very good observation. It very well could be. Even has holes for their legs. I think that's what it is. I think it is for the Fantastic car. There we go, right there. Put a little bit of a full customs touch on there. It'll look real dope. Probably take it to a car show or something. But uh, shout out to Hasbro for that dial piece right there. Uh, let's see right there. Uh, yep, Adam Gonzalez got that exclusive. Uh, Scarlet Kid has Lab exclusive dial Kickstarter. Exactly. I don't, you know, that's that's coming down the pipe. I probably should not have shown that. I might have put a little too much out there. Uh, let's see, Prince's first. Oh snap. Fantastic car, sneak peek. Yep, exactly. Clockwork Orgy, that's a great landing bay. It is. It could double as a landing bay. I like that it, it's kind of like a reversible type thing. Like back in the 90s, they had reversible everything. You could buy like a reversible jacket. So that was cool. Uh, let's see. Holds for the legs. How else are you going to pedal, right? Uh, Terry, how much you want for the diorama? Uh, it's probably going to go in a raffle. I'll probably do, you know, $12 spots. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe a 1,000 slots. Uh, it all depends. Uh, listen, Chombo, you got that HasLab prototype? Yes, I did. Yes. So obviously, it's probably gonna be a little bit darker gray in color when it for, when it actually comes out. Wolfpack hit switches on them exactly. Doctor Jones, what's going on, man? You rich? Scarlet Kid multi-use dial exactly. That's the best way to do it. Uh, let's see what else they got me in here. Oscar Reynoso, what's going on, man? Happy Sunday to you too. Just doing this unboxing, seeing what Hasbro Pulse sent me for the Fan Fest care package. Uh, so let's see what we got in here. Okay, okay, all right. We got some uh, some effects here. Uh, most likely for you know like Doctor Doom. Uh, in case I want to give him tendrils, uh, they must have saw that I unboxed the Doctor Doom recently, so they gave me some Doctor Doom tendrils. So I can make a venomized Dr. Doom. Hopefully they bring that figure out. And uh, it'll probably look a little bit better than my venomized Dr. Doom. But those are some nice tendrils that they sent me right there. Let's see. Terrible. 12, I was thinking 1,000. I might do 1,000. I might. And like 14 slots. Just to kind of give everybody a little bit better chance. Let's see. Adam Gonzalez. Looks like a Galactus cup holder. Galactus cup holder. Oh, he could probably, it, it's three uses at that. I like how y'all are opening my minds to the possibilities that Hasbro has put before me. Blaine Sanchez, what's going on, man? Just got off work checking you out. What I miss? So you haven't missed a whole lot. I've been unboxing. We've unboxed this dial piece slash Fantastic Car slash Galactus cup holder with the body of a headless Iron Man that Hasbro sent to me. And I'm pretty sure you saw the uh, Dr. Doom tendrils so that I can make a venomized Dr. Doom right there. Oh, let's see. Oh, did I get that wrong? OK, Scarlet Kid is telling me they're venomized Hulk tendrils. OK, OK, I made a mistake. That was my mistake, y'all. It is for venomized Hulk. I got excited because I thought it was going to be for Dr. Doom, but I could see. Yeah, you know what? Those are Hulk. I They actually feel like they have radiation on them, too. Uh, let's see here. Those effects do look amazing. Props is first. They do, dog. They do. They do, dog. They look. They look amazing. These look the realest. Uh, right there. Oscar Reynoso, whoa, bendy wire. Yeah, they 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 went all out with these tendrils. So say for instance, Hulk was like angry. He can curl it up. If he's excited. Straight up right there. 
Let's see. Uh, okay. Blaine Sanchez, that's too clean. It is. Plastic, they're pampering. That You know, they try to take care of their fans. So I see it. Let's see. Hakai Animation. Oh, man. Exclusive lizard parts. I don't know. I haven't got any lizard parts, but we don't know what's in this box. Adam Gonzalez makes more sense. Everything makes sense. Hasbro thinks of everything. Payson, what's going on, man? I'm glad that your mind is blown. This is an amazing box. I can't wait to see everything, you know, show you everything that's in here. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, cool. Look, Hakai Animations, you're getting some love over here. That's always good. Blaine Snots, you got to tell me how you get on Hasbro's list, man, so I can raffle off 30, $30 slots too. Uh, you just got to be a YouTube sensation. That's all it is. They saw that one time one of my videos got 37 views and they were like, we got to take care of this dude. Bam. Next thing you know, they're sending me boxes. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here, though. OK. All right. OK. So it looks like they gave me some Arthur temporary tattoos. Uh, they must know that with summer coming out, I do want to have some, you know, adornments on my on my skin. So they sent me these Arthur temporary tattoos. You know, I could either roll with Arthur, DW, Buster, it looks like. And uh, I don't know if that's the teacher or the smart kid, but either way, I'm going to be rocking those, have them across my back. People going to be like, dang, that's what's up right there. Um, okay, I'm glad. There's a warning that uh, they're not to be eaten. So. I won't be eating these, but I will be rocking these right there. If you see me rocking these on my next review or whatever, it's because I couldn't wait till summer. But those are them, them Arthur tattoos right there. So that's dope right there. I like it. I like that it says not to be eaten, but it's made by Taste Beauty. So I don't know if I should taste it, just not eat it. But that right there. Uh, let's see. Yep, decals for the Fantastic Car. That's that's true. It could be. Art the Tats of the New Wave, yeah. Hasbro's ideas are built different. Big time. They they know they know what they're doing here. Uh, let's see. Put one of the tats on right now. I would if I had some water with me. Let's see. Uh tats go great on arms. I have to disagree, Tony. I think they go great on legs. Especially like the upper thigh area for when I'm wearing my short shorts at the pool. Everybody can see it right there. Oscar Reno, so are they teasing the Haslab art there? I think so. I think so. I think that's going to be the next crossover. Let's see. Yep, Wolfpack. Are they hinting at Arthur crossover? I think so. I think that's what's going to go on right now. I can't wait to have like a, what, 48-point articulated Arthur? That'd be dope right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Adam Gonzalez. First look, Hasbro has Arthur license. They do. And why wouldn't they? As Pacer said earlier, Arthur's hot right now. All right. Let's see what else is in this box. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting here. It seems like, uh, let's see, Clockwork Orgy, Tramp Stamp, Arthur Tramp Stamp. I might do it. Who knows? I don't know. I might have to shave the, the hair back there, but who knows? I might do it. That'd be good. That'd be good right there. Uh, exclusive sneak peek Hasbro's partnership with Arthur. Yeah, I don't know if I should have shown that one either. You know, I might be showing too much here. Let's see, Arthur, let's see. Enter the Arthurverse. There we go. So they did send me a one sixth scale Black Widow figure. Um, I don't know if this is a Hot Toys. I haven't really messed with Hot Toys, but I do know that it's a 12 inch. So it very well could be Hot Toys. Um, I'll have to go get it graded at a comic book store to know what I actually have here. But shout out to Hasbro for sending me a 1-6 figure. This will be my first 1-6 figure that I have here. So I don't know when they crossed with Hot Toys to make this. But, I mean, what is that? Five points of articulation at least. I mean, unless you include these swiveling. And look, the belt, the belt's even adjustable. 
I like that. In case she wants to wear it loose, like she's going to hit the club and she want to have it off the sexy off the hip look. Or you could tighten it for when she means business and can't have it slipping around. So this Hot Toys uh, Black Widow, really dope right here. And it looks just like Scarlett Johansson. That's crazy. Let's see what we got here. Must be a hot toy prototype. Most likely. I'll put it right here. So that my my sponsor doesn't doesn't block it there. Uh that's a spoiler right there. Yep. I'm gonna be posing this while I'm watching the new Black Widow film. I'm trying to do every move that she does. She does a roundhouse kick. Got it. Squared away like that. Uh, let's see. That's new Black Widow movies, Hot Toys Pig. See, there we go. Museum quality. It sure is. Oh, Blaine Sanchez, HasLab 2020, Arthur Cookie Monster mashup. I, that'd be a good one. I hope they do have. Hope, I wonder if there's any Cookie Monster stuff in here. That'd be dope. Secondary markets are crazy on that fig. I can imagine. I mean, this thing is solid construction. I could, Like if someone broke into my house right now, I'm holding this. I bust them in the head. I could probably hold them until police come or ambulance because if it busts them in the head, they might, I don't know, there might be internal bleeding. But it is a solid construction. Let's see, so much detail. Clockwork orgy, exactly. Frog knuckles, what's going on? Nice leg hatch. I'm not sure what leg hatch is. I don't know if that's similar to thigh gap, but okay. We'll go with that. Oscar Reynoso, you got the Uganda Comic Con exclusive Black Widow. That's the one right there. The Black Market Black Widow. Hopefully the movie is nothing but roundhouse kicks. Thank you, Payson. I don't know why there's not more roundhouse kicks in the movies to begin with, in every movie. Uh, if Frozen had a lot of more roundhouse kicks, I'd be like, yeah, Frozen's a great movie. I think Up, Up would have would have benefited from a lot more roundhouse kicks as well see what we got here hakai hot toys prototype black widow frog knuckles spoiler black widow becomes an archbishop of the water bottle club called fig newton i wish i hadn't read that now when it happens in the movie i'm not gonna be that you know surprised it actually I'm, I'm glad i read that that way i can eat, eat some actual figs while i'm watching it and be like bam i, I guessed it Marvel should make into Sunnyverse. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm, you know, they very well could be. But there's the 112 or sorry, 16 scale Black Widow. Oh, this is Mephisto. Oh man, Mephisto. Sorry, Mephisto. I'm not quite sure how to say. It. I've never really heard it said. Uh, let's see. Devil's Legends. What's going on, man? Adam Gonzalez. Did you watch GVK? I did. It was it was pretty good. If you don't know science, to me all the science sounded fake, and I don't know science that well. Uh, let's see. Okay, all right. So it looks like they gave me some Arby's coupons as well from Hasbro. Um, it's kind of odd because it seems like they cut one out. But if I wanted to go to Arby's and get a uh, Two can dine for ten ninety nine here. I could take maybe the wife with me or one of the kids. So shout out to Hasbro for sending me some Arby's coupons. Um, maybe in the Arby's kids meal, you might start seeing Marvel stuff pop up. So for right now, though, I will probably be going to Arby's tomorrow, courtesy of Hasbro. What we got? Oh, look, to, right, we go right there. Two for four dollar classic roast beef sandwiches. Oh, they knew I like dessert. They they included the dessert one too. I like it. Let's see, Jace Figs. What's up, Jace Figs? Frog Knuckles, Art Bees. We have the meat salad. Scarlet Kids. Since they are raising all the prices on the figs, they're trying to help you feed your fam. That's that's true. That is really nice of them to do that. So they be like, hey, twenty two ninety nine, but go ahead and get you a dollar small curly fries or two piece potato cakes. So thank you, Hasbro. Um, I'm kind of, you know, still wondering what this coupon was. It was probably a really good one. Uh, but still, thank you. It's the thought that counts on that one. 
All right, what's we got? Adam Gonzalez, LOL, probably Dwight took that one coupon. And it probably was. It might have been Dwight. He looks like he'd be the one to eat the Arby's. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, all right. This ain't bad right at all right here. Okay, so I don't know if y'all have heard uh, about the crisis going on in the world right now. But they gave me some ketchup packets. So official Hasbro Pulse ketchup packets uh, because they know that the world is facing a shortage of ketchup packets. And so they were like, hey, Sonny, just know we got you. And they threw in some ketchup. That's that's really good right there. Uh, my kids might eat that tomorrow with some eggs for breakfast. So thank you, Hasbro, for the ketchup packets and the toilet paper earlier. I didn't forget that either. Oh, Hakai Animation might have some Taco Bell coupons inside there. I hope so. I hope they do have some Taco Bell coupons. I would love some Taco Bell coupons. Uh, Jace Figs, now you want Arby's? <laughs> Sorry, man, I got coupons. I could probably send you a picture of the coupon, see if they'll still honor it. It's up to, you know, it's up to them. Oh, yeah, Jace Figs, thank you for checking out my... I think it's GT Racing. I kept saying, I don't know why it says G Tracing on it. And then my, my kid was like, I think that's GT racing. I was like, well, that makes more sense. But yeah, had to give me a new chair. Uh, now that I have 51 subscribers to YouTube, I got to make it look official and legit. Let's see. Tony says, Sonny's showing some heat. I am. I am. I, and it's it's all for y'all. You know, I, I'm showing y'all so that y'all can be jealous, go to sleep, upset that y'all didn't get the same stuff. And then wake up tomorrow kind of bitter at me, but still kind of like me. And so that's the kind of range of emotions that I want to give to y'all. Oscar Reynosa, Army Building Ketchup. See, I wish you hadn't said that because now I'm not going to let my kids have that ketchup because I got an Army Build now. So Oscar went tomorrow when they're like, oh, I wish I had more flavor on my eggs. I'm like, I got an Army Build my ketchup. You can't have them. Can't have them right now. And G Tracing is famous. See, Chamba 2. G Tracing is legit. There we go. Clockwork Orgy. Gangster Tracing. They saw your Baron Bands art. That is, that's what the G stands for. Okay. Gangster Tracing. I used to do Gangster Tracing back in elementary school where you put the uh, the, the tissue paper on, on a TV and then you kind of draw the lines on it. I used to do that. Still came out horrible. My parents never hung it up on the refrigerator, but you know, it's all good. Uh, let's see. I'll take the photo of that rabies coupon, though. Pay son, you got it. I will send you that photo as soon as the live stream is done. Is a ketchup bottle like Moda? Yes. The kind that you that you leave upside down, exactly like it. And I think you can even uh, squeeze out the ketchup, put it back in, sort of like Modoc's face goes in his back. Let's see. They love to hate me. Wolfpack review. Sonny, you need more light. Hit up pacing. Yeah, I think it's my shiny skull. Every time I lean forward, my light up here reflects off and my camera's like, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, Payson, uh, I'm going to need all your lighting tips and techniques. Let's see, coming with the T.O. quotes. Jace, he'll show you how to make it like you're right next to the sun. I could do. All right, let's see. There we go. Get a good hot spot going on me right there. Let's see. Facts. All right. Maybe the ketchup is for some blood effects. Adam, that's a very, very good observation. Uh, unfortunately, I've already decided to army build them. Frog knows. Watch out, Sonny. Spider Man is behind you with the clock handle and a pair of cram salad. I'm never going to figure out this whole mirrored camera thing, but yeah. All right. So is Tony still here? Is Tony still here? I think you're going to be very excited. Tony Hasbro Pulse sent me a bag of legs. They must have known that uh, I'm very upset that 
Cannonball did not come with the legs. And so they sent me a bunch of legs to try on for Cannonball. So thank you, Hasbro, for these legs. And uh, hopefully some will look really good on Cannonball. I think, personally, I think this one will look really good on him. Right there. Maybe just pair that up with another leg similar. They know that I'm a hashtag uh, team legs. So shout out. Oh, look, there we go. Hey, look, we got a lizard piece. And in case I want Cannonball to look formal, as if he's going to get married or has a court date, there we go right there. Or unless he lives in somewhere where Ugg boots are accepted. Got those, all those legs. I can't believe it. What we got here? Oh, snap, Tony. Yep, leg bag. Tony hit the thumbs down. Jay's fix. That's negativity, man. Team legs all day. There we go. Clockwork orgy. It's right there. Wolfpack, you're an official leg tester now. Got to test them all. Ricardo, and spare legs for that rock python. Well, they sent me a new rock python. So the other rock python I threw in my garbage disposal. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to uh, dispose of rock python, but I'm not sure. Uh, that's just because you're built different. There we go. Cannonball can't get a leg up. He can get seven legs up at this point. Do I spot a piece of glazed ham in there? I wish. That would have been a good touch. Although it getting lost in the post office, that ham might have got a little rancid. So we don't know. I'm not going to read Tony's comment there. Uh, let's see. Carl Meister Reviews. What's going on, man? No merch yet, get, so get used to it and wait for my channel to grow. Oh, it's all good, man. Like I said, once you get them 37 subscribers, Hasbro's going to be knocking at your door. That's what they do. DS, what's going on? Release DC from Todd. Aluminum suit Batman by Foiled Customs. That might come soon. If someone from Foiled Customs is looking, they might, they might steal that idea. Uh, let's see. Tony says wanted to see them legs. Okay, all right. We'll show more legs. We got more legs. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Legs, legs. Oh, look, we got the gout legs from Sugar Man. Sugar Man got like gout and diabetes, everything, all at once. Got the striped pants. There we go. I uh, might have a challenge with this one. We'll see. Let's see, if I can get all these legs to stand, I should not have said that. All right, let's see. Who needs legs? Just have four arms. Frog knuckles, that won't work. All right. Clockwork is team legs. Yes. Car Master Reviews, Sunny List Merge, bro. Um, probably not gonna happen. Appreciate it though. Let's see, full customs or full customs. Full customs with a K is the Mortal Kombat line. Facts, frog knuckles. Nope, not facts at all. J speaks. Can we know the owner of full customs? Oh, okay. I hope he's Team Legs. Prompt to the first. All right. Do they combine into the Leg Man? I would imagine they do. Maybe with some hot glue, I can make an entire leg man. So we'll see. We'll we'll have to play with that a little bit in the in the morning. See if we can get leg man going. I was unaware that they were doing leg man build a figure, but obviously they are. Uh, let's see. They combine. Okay. All right. So what else we got here? Oh, this is interesting. Full customs is team steal pictures and post them as your own. What? Oh, man. Shindan Rod. Hasbro Fan Fest build a figure exclusive human centipede. There we go. Late man talking about let's kick it. See, Wolfpack gets it. Uh, so Hasbro also sent me a double A battery. It's an energizer, which means they didn't cheap out. They gave me a name brand battery. Um, I don't know if that's to say that is the HasLab Sentinel going to take one AA battery? Because if so, they gave me a spare for his light-up eyes. So 
that's very thoughtful of them. That free battery with the coupons is going to save me a lot of money in the future. So thank you, Hasbro, for doing that. Uh, let me see here. We got a kind of match. Maybe the ketchup packets are build a figure parts for the legs. That's an interesting idea, too. Packing a meat salad. What's going on, Mr. Unfortunate there? I lost my leg in an accident. Can I have one of your spares? So I do have to say Hasbro does not want me to give you any of my legs. Sorry about that. Uh, you can't arm eat them ketchups, then you team arms. Uh, Tony, I'm going to uh, leg build those arm, those uh, legs and ketchup. What's Legsman's superpower? Uh, I would imagine running extremely fast and tripping all the time. Let's see, man, forearms work. Haven't you seen Eon Flux? No. Forearms still don't work. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Those are technically legs because they're on the ground. So, like, if someone is legless and they use their arms as their legs, those are legs. They use their arms on a wheelchair, those are arms, but if they use them as legs, they're legs. Let's see. Hey, Plastiatico, he's still here. All right. Jay speaks. Have you seen ever seen anyone with four legs? Yes, I have. A little Indian child, I want to say, born in the early 2000s, maybe. He, he was born with four legs. They treated him as a god. So I don't know if that was the same case with a four-armed person. Let's see. Shindan Ra. Technically, dogs have four legs. There we go. There, nobody says to the dog, give me your arm. Just say, give me your front leg. So that's a good point. Our man has the power of finger and fist. Dr. Huha Sphincter Babui Cream Filling. Our man would lose in a fight against leg man nine times out of nine uh leg man can knock out with toe jam powers see the wolf pack review he's read up on the uh mythology of leg man all right let me see what we got here all right okay this is very very good right here uh they gave me 56 cents uh, from Hasbro, they know, you know, with the one battery saving money for the replacement for the Haslab Sentinel, the coupons from Arby's due to the offset of the twenty two ninety nine um, cost now, they even threw in fifty six cents uh, just to help out with some of the tax. Say, for instance, if I go for the uh, obese Thor. I'll be able to get the tax on Hasbro. Let's see. Clockwork Orgy. And she died. Not sure who died. Oh, wait. The four the four legged baby? Oh, man. Uh, won't Dogman have a chance? Yes, because he has four legs. Does Legman play soccer? No, he plays basketball. Uh, let's see. Tony, never that. Jace Figs. They paying you to buy a lollipop. That's interesting. I love lollipops, so that works for me. Wolfpack, they give you bus fare to fig hunt. That's good. That's a good point too. And I can leave a tip for the bus driver. Ricardo, arm man wins against leg man. Opposable thumbs, thump, trump, stubby, stubby toes. That's not true, Ricardo. Because what if leg man has finger toes? You know, where your toes are so long, you can grab stuff and pick stuff up. You could even like break up noodles with your long finger toes. So, finger toes will win over opposable thumbs anytime. Adam Gonzalez, maybe they're a code breaker like Mezco does. The quarters? That could very well be. I don't speak Latin, though, so I'd have to, like, get a dictionary or uh, Google Translate. Hakai Animations, I got five legs. See, there we go. Hakai Animations gets it. Nemo Lamp with the drip. I have three legs. And an OnlyFans page. Uh, let's see. Shin Dan Rod. Every baby has four legs until they're like three years old. Very good point. See? Babies are all team leg. If you have a baby, they're team legs. I hate to tell you, but it's true.
Okay, all right. Let's see. Oh, man, I thought those were Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Uh, no, that would have been amazing if they gave me Chuck E. Cheese tokens. That would have been like a real throwback. Speaking of throwback, they gave me a mechanical pencil right there. They must know that uh, I love to draw, and I love mechanical stuff, and I like erasers. All in one right there. So, haven't seen one of these since, like, I don't know, late 90s. So, probably going to go with their uh, their retro line. The mechanical pencil. Maybe even one of those pens with a bunch of different colors that you could choose. So, who knows. But, shout out to Hasbro Pulse for the mechanical pencil. And let's see. There we go. It's a rubber mechanical pencil. Just kidding. It's solid. If you don't know that trick, you're probably like, I don't know, 15 years old. Let's see. Michael Zapata. Did I miss it? Yes. Or you missed 43 minutes of it. Uh, we still got some stuff in there, though. So don't don't you don't have to you don't have to go away right now. Uh, my dog has six fingers, says Nemo lamp with the drip. There we go. Six fingers. Wait, six fingers or six toes? I think it's six toes. You got four legs, six toes. Wolfpack Toy Review. They threw in a Transformer. I'm not sure which line this is from. It might be from the Beast Wars. But that's possible. Very possible Wolfpack Toy Review. I'm going to look more into this uh, later tonight as I'm trying to fall asleep. Hopefully I don't fall asleep with it. And then roll over in the middle of the night and stab myself and get a puncture wound and not wake up tomorrow. But, you know, I am going to mess with that later on. Pencil Man. There we go. I think his name is Pencilon. I almost read this Penicillin. Which Penicillin would still be a cool name for a, I don't know, X-Men or something. Nemo Lamp with the Drip. What does lead taste like? Oh, that'd be a dope catchphrase. Like right before Pencil Man shoots people, he'd be like, hey, what does lead taste like? Blah, 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 blah. Although I think it's graphite now. I could be wrong. Let's see. Toys are God. Instagram brought me here. Bless you. Hey, thanks for joining. Be sure to uh, hit subscribe and uh, see other videos that don't make any sense. Plastic Attic, rubber, rubbery and pinless. Big time pinless and big time rubbery, especially the eraser part. I'm gonna put that in hot water later to see uh, if I can get that to be more articulated. Self transforming pencil. There we go, Oscar Reynoso. Hakai Animation. It's the ultimate weapon for the ketchup package. Oh man. Okay, so it's a staff. It's not even pencil, man. It's a staff. For the ketchup package that combine with the legs to create ketchup packet leg man pencil staff. I liked it. This pencil staff of graphite and plastic. Man, Hasbro dug deep for that one. Oh, okay. We still got some stuff in here too. Uh, so it looks like Hasbro has given me some. Uh, some solder, which I can use as a prop stick of dynamite, or it could be part of the super solder serum. But they did send that to me. Uh, they actually had to import it from Taiwan. So thank you, Hasbro, for importing that. So I didn't have to pay at customs fees or anything like that. And I get that super solder serum. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this solder later. All right. Well, what else do we got here? Okay. Okay. So apparently Hasbro must be looking at my Facebook um, page very frequently. Um, there was a day that I did complain about not having enough sockets. And there we are right there. They sent me a 
three socket adapter. Um, it looks like it was probably in one of their basements or attics for uh, 20 years, but they did send me one of those. Now I can have more lights in my studio so my light can quit changing and I can look like a pacing video. Uh, let's see, Scarlet Kid one. Oh, my OMG, Hasbro set you a prototype, build a figure box like the Food Network show Chopped. That is exactly what they did. They are so sweet to do that too. Michael's about the Tri Sentinel. There we go. It's like a Tri Sentinel. Three heads. Hey, Thor 2012, made it to Sunshine Exclusive. Let's go. We've been going. Wolfpack Toy Review. Thanks for coming out, Thor 2012. Wolfpack Toy Review is like my official uh, Walmart door greeter right there. Adam Gonzalez, that was very thoughtful. Very thoughtful of them. Now I can like charge my cell phone, uh, power up a toaster oven, and um, have a free plug in case someone comes over and they're like, hey, Sonny, I need somewhere to plug in my lava lamp. I'm like, oh, no problem. I got a free spot. Plug in your lava lamp. Let's have a party. It'd be all good. Uh, that's the accessory pack for light switch figure. Oh, okay. Okay. That must be the Tri-Sentinel head for light switch. I just realized that too. Let's see, Ricardo, we all know the best solder comes from Taiwan. Hasbro didn't cheap out on you. No, they didn't at all. And it's almost full too, which is the best part about that super solder serum. Jace Fix, Payson sat through that light. No problem though. He did. Hakai Animations, Ketchup Pack and Legman were exclusive than the, more exclusive than Sentinel. Yeah. Big time exclusive. Can't wait to get photos of them. Uh, Thor 2012, Adam wants to tell you what's up. Wolfpack Toy Reviews, Hype Man. Hype Man does sound better than official Walmart door greeter. So, yeah, that works. Uh, but there we have the three. I don't know, outlet adapter right there. Shout out to Hasbro. All right, so we're down to the last thing that Hasbro has sent for me today. Does anybody want to take a guess what it is? Post your guess in the comments while I take a sip of my beverage. There we go. Chamba chimes in with Hype Man should be their official name. Hype Man Wolfpack Toy Review. Wolfpack Toy Review, a.k.a. Hype Man. Oh, Hype Man at Walmart. I just got that, man. Yeah. I think next time I go to Walmart and the door greeter is like, welcome to Walmart, sir. I'm going to be like his Hype Man. And I'm going to yell out, Walmart in the hizzy. And then, like, start shoving people and start a mosh pit. And I'm going to be like, Chamba said, Walmart hype man. I like that Walmart hype man. I'm going to start calling him that. All right. So, we got the guesses coming in. Jace Fig says, Rock Python. Thor 2012 says, The head of the HasLab Sentinel. Adam Gonzalez says, Prototype with that build, bear, builder, bear Builder figure. Sorry, I'm from Texas. We don't talk that fast. Ricardo says their new Galactus figure. Pitman Thor says OMG a Pulse Unboxing. You know it's Pulse Fan Fest 2021. Wolfpack Toy Review, aka the hype man of Sunny Channel. Has Lab exclusive pocket lint. Actually, that would have been pretty cool. I could have sold that on eBay. Hakai Animations. Oh man, it's all coming together. Maybe the box is to catch a packet hideout. There we go. Pitman Thor. This is going to be sick, yo. Oh, probably is. Michael Zapata has lab Sentinel. Okay, maybe. Oscar Reynoso, Mustard Army Builder. All right. Pitman Thor, I hope you got a new Boba Fett with all the fixings. Uh, I didn't get any Boba Fett. That's not what's in here. Chamba, perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally calling those Walmart guys hype man now. The Walmart hype man. Uh, so all the guesses are in. 
all the guesses are incorrect. They actually sent me oh Jace Figs a plunderling. I wish they would have sent me a plunderling. That'd have been cool. They should do a cross plunderling and like at least X Men. That'd be dope. The box itself is a display. I might display this box. It is a good box. That when people come over and it'd be like, oh, you collect toys. I'm like, also collect that box right there. Check that box. Let's see, silver custom plunderlings. Oh, maybe we don't know. Maybe they got a maybe they got a full custom plunderlings coming along. Uh, but we actually have Jubilee. Can you imagine that? They sent me a Jubilee figure. Uh, from I don't know if she was real popular on the X-Men cartoon, uh, Jubilee. There she is right there. Uh, clearly has the hands for sparkling. Um, I was unaware that Jubilee was Team Arms. But I'm okay with that. Uh, still factory sealed. Still factory sealed. So if I want to go throw this Jubilee up on eBay, I could easily go throw this on eBay and get tons of money because everybody loves Jubilee. So there is my Jubilee figure that Hasbro sent to me. Uh, Ricardo Jubilee didn't age well. I think this might be the Jubilee from the Age of Apocalypse line. I, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that this is that Jubilee. But I like this still factory seal too. That way when I put it up on Mercari, I could be like new in box. Her coat has some battle damage. It sure does, yeah. But if you notice, she has uh some pockets there so she can put quarters to go to the arcade right there. I'm gonna give you that one, Tony. This Jubilee is team arms, I'm gonna give you that. That's the Rough Riders Jubilee and dedication to DMX. RP DMX. I love DMX music. People used to always ask me, Sonny, what are your top five rappers? I would throw DMX in number five, and they're like, he's not really lyrical. I was like, I didn't say lyrical, but he makes some good songs. But DMX, RIP. Got the Jubilee Rough Rider DMX variant right there. Oscar Reynoso, Mexican Jubilee Chase figure. It is. She looks like she worked for the cartels. That's the Cartel Jubilee. That Ross exclusive variant Jubilee. They might have sent that. Because, uh, you know, they can't afford to send me all the good stuff. They've already sent me so much. But that's probably why they went up on price for everyone. Let's see. Digital face print is spot on. It is. Looks just like Jubilee. Look, there's Jubilee wearing Cerebro. From that one episode. That I don't really remember, but I assume it happened. Ben Frakes, RIP DMX. Yeah, RIP DMX. 50 years old. Plunderlegs and Marvel Legends crossover call them Marvel Wings. Oh, I like it. Marvel Wings. Or Marvel Wings, yeah. Mr. Cortez, RIP DMX. Yep, DMX, man. Adam Gonzalez, looks like she has been working out. Yeah. She has been. She also looks like she got a little bit of foil customs. Uh, looks like that's Hasbro's way of saying that foiled customs may be working with them in the future. So see the, the, the silvery look. So who knows? Who knows? Payson Catfish Jubilee. Oh, I see. Like Facebook, LinkedIn profile. Actually shows up to Arby's to meet you for that first date. No coupons in hand. I can see that. I can totally see that happening. Between uh, Catfish Jubilee and maybe Legman. I think they dated in the comic books. I'm not quite certain. Um, I only read like four comic books in my entire life. So I could be wrong. But I do want to give Hasbro, Hasbro. Pulse, all those people. Thank you. We got 30 people in here, so let's break a rundown of all the stuff that was in 
my Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest Care Package box. All right, cool. Let's see. Wolfpack Tour, you're going to Google if they bet dated. I appreciate that, man. 796 Studios, what's going on, man? Glad you can make it. Pay some. Let's see. Arby's first day leads to third cousin marriage 63% of the time. That's kind of low average. So, I mean, it's worth it. I mean, it's worth the risk, I should say. Pittman Thor, this was either a switch out or someone really messed up at Hasbro QC. LOL. Are you talking about my variant? Cartel Jubilee, Mexican, Fold Customs, Chase figure. There we go. Right there. See the Jubilee with the Facebook profile picture that Jubilee actually does use. Uh, that Ravelly Jubilee in her Ravagers outfit. Yeah, there you go. See, you see the sunglasses here and goggles. So it's very similar. But for those of y'all just joining, Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest, I got the Jubilee figure right there. Still factory sealed, as it should be, because it came direct from Hasbro. So, Jubilee. Uh, let's see, what else do we get? We got the uh, Super Solder Serum, made in Taiwan. Uh, there we go. Only the best of the best solder. So, shout out to Hasbro for sending me that right there. The three outlet adapter, Tri Sentinel socket that uh, can actually go with light switch for a photo op right there. Shout out to Hasbro. The uh, mechanical pencil, part of the Hasbro retro line of figures, could also possibly be the Staff weapon for ketchup leg man build a figure. So there's the mechanical pencil that they sent me as well. Here's the energizer battery that they sent me for when the HasLab Sentinel comes and I'm playing with it too much. The blinky lights end up killing the battery that's in there. They don't want me spending my own money, so they sent me a battery to replace in that HasLab Sentinel. So thank you for saving me. Uh, I don't know what batteries cost nowadays, like eight bucks for four of them. So thanks for sending me two bucks there. Speaking of saving money, the Arby's coupons. We can't forget that Hasbro sent me these Arby's coupons, uh, especially when I'm enjoying lunch tomorrow, eating my my free uh, chocolate shake here. I'm going to be thanking Hasbro that whole time. So thank you, Hasbro, for the coupons that we got there. See what the comments say here. Ravelli is a dope name, legit. That sure is a dope name. Payson, need them mechanical pencil in 112 scale. Hopefully, hopefully it'll come soon. We don't know yet. Uh, yes, Plastiacto. I forgot to mention that the mechanical pencil is pinless. And Brujo Pola, can we get some size comparison, please? We could get some size comparison here in a bit. We'll do that. Chalor. Hey, Chalor, what's up? Pimentor, Dia de los Muertos Jubilee. That, yes, and actually you could pop that Dia de los Muertos Jubilee head off and put it on anybody to make them that. So on November 1st and 2nd, everybody's going to have that head. Everybody's going to share some head on November 1st and 2nd. Thor 2012, that's the mechanical Autobot Pensatron. Pensatron, okay, all right. Wolfpack Tour Review. Solid reveals, bro. Legit jealous. Sorry, man. I, that's what I intended to do, though. I intended to make everyone jealous of me um, because that's how I live my life better, knowing that everybody's jealous of me. So thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Thor 2012 says, what up, Challer? Challer. Chalor. My bad. 706 Studios. You can flip that battery for double on the aftermarket. Just saying. I can't. I can even use it and still flip it. By the time they get it and put it in their remote, they'll be like, ah, oh, dang it. This ain't even, it's the only way it work. But I already have my money. Good luck trying to fight eBay. I'll just delete my account. Let's see. Payson asking a chat full of dudes for size comparison. Yes, chat, this is going to uh, cross over to the OnlyFans stream. So, hope y'all are ready. Pimentor, we're all a little jelly, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Like I said, 
nothing makes my day better than to know that there are people out there jealous. So thank you for letting me know. Uh, but let's keep going with what all we received here. Can't forget Hasbro sent me 56 cents. Um, so thank you for that. Even one of them is even a little drummer boy quarter. There we go right there. See, this is the only quarter that has a theme song, uh, Little Drummer Boy, uh, Rumpa Pum Pum. Only, only quarter that has a theme song. So shout out to Hasbro sending me theme song approved quarters. Plus, yeah, go, got to go take care of me. All right, man. Hasta luego. Let's see. Chalo, let's see. New Arby's coupons. Yes, Arby's coupons are very cherished. Use that same two for four dollar regular roast beef sandwich coupon three times now. Oh, there we go. Gonna keep using it until they finally ask for the coupon. I like when I go places and I'm like, I have a coupon, and they just scan it or look at it. They're like, you can keep it. I'm like, oh, thank you. Those are enablers, and they're way cheaper than the enablers crew. So I'm okay with them. Let's see. Oh, you got that quarter variant? Yep, got the quarter variant, the drummer boy. Let's see what we got. Oh, TR4K Alliance is in the house. Those can be used as U.S. agent seals. No spoilers, though. Oh, man. I did see that fourth episode, finally. It was good. All right. So, we can't forget Hasbro. Poles. Team Legs. Hashtag Team Legs. We got plenty of legs to go around, plenty of legs I can try on, Cannonball. That way he can get to walking before the official legs come out, even though um, Full Customs already supplied him with legs. I can try all these legs out. Legs for days. Well, legs for like seven days, but legs for days. Let's see. Son, are you going to do a review for that Cobra Viper? I'm going to do something for that Cobra Viper. So be on the lookout for that one. Uh, Hakai and Animations. I need them catcher packets in 112 scale. Catcher packets. So what I'm going to do is probably cut one down. Because that's going to be the best way to make 112 ketchup packets. Use a real ketchup packet, cut it up, and then just tape the ends. And you'll have those 112 ketchup packets. You got to make sure you cut it one time this way, and then five times this way, and that'll be 112 right there. That's a little bit of math for y'all. But shout out to Hasbro for sending me some ketchup. Uh, I don't know if y'all have heard, there's a ketchup short of ketchup package shortage in the world going on right now so if you see ketchup laid out at fast food restaurant take it all settle it later that's the way you do it prompt to the first avenger enablers assembled my bad uh let's see thor 2012 team legs i'm not gonna read tony's comment still not gonna read tony's comment Thor 2012. All right, back back to some good news. Every one of those legs is a preview to leg e builders that Hasbro's letting us see here first with Sunny. There we go. Hakai Animations only fans too. That's true. Well, mine is more only two fans, but still, it's real similar. Shallow, I haven't seen any episodes of that new show, but vaguely hearing about Wyatt Russell as U.S. agent is making me want to download it. He sounds really cool. That's the guy's name. Yeah, that's probably the actor's name. Uh, yeah, he does a pretty good job. Although I think I liked um, uh, whoever played uh, that cop dude from Jessica Jones. I didn't pay attention to Jessica Jones very much. But I like the way he played his character. Um, God, what is his name? I can't think of his name. But that actor. I think he played... His role, they, they seem similar to me. I think he played his role a little better, though. That's just me. Also, because everybody made that meme of the dude because he looks like the guy from Up, and that kind of, like, threw it off. But, you know. 
Uh, Tony is still talking about legs. Okay. It could be some lag, Tony. I apologize, but all I see is something about legs. Uh, then we have our Hulk tendrils that we received uh, for Venomized Hulk. Hint, hint. Think Hasbro's trying to say that they're going to be bringing out a Venomized Hulk in the Marvel Legends line. So look out for that right there. Uh, 796 Studios, Dan Yoon in the house. Hey, Dan, if you're here, thanks for those RB coupons. Tomorrow when I'm enjoying my crinkle fries, I'll be thinking of you. Uh, also, the other stuff that they sent me, that one-sixth scale Black Widow from the new Black Widow movie. Uh, five points of articulation. First time ever done on a Hot Toys crossover. Five points articulation. Black Widow. Uh, kind of four and a half. The head doesn't really spin that well. But there we go. Let's see. Oh, Payson, you, you were wondering about the coupons. So, yeah. Um, if I had to guess, Dan Yoon probably took the uh, two for five dollars beef and cheddar combo. I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. I think that's the one he took. I could be wrong. Uh, he's probably going to stay silent in the comments, but because uh, he doesn't want everybody to know what his favorite Arby's meal is. But that's probably what it was. Team legs. There we go. Hakai Animations, Team Legs. And again, there we go. Thor 2012, Hasbro Collab with Hot Toys. Just with five points articulation ones. So if she needs to drive a car that has full extending brake pedal and gas pedal, she can. Also, the steering wheel has to be like two feet away from the brakes. In relation. But you know, I mean, I don't know what other pose you would want. Either vanilla pose, because that's one of the best poses out there. Or part of an improv troupe, and she's driving the car for this particular skit that they're working. Either way, great figure. Uh, then we also had those... uh. Arthur temporary tattoos that Hasbro sent to me because knowing that summer's coming up and I might hit the beach with my mask on. So that way I get that cool sunburn just like top half. And then when I take my mask off, I'm done. Got my sunburn. I look like Sub-Zero or something like that. But shout out to them for those uh, Arthur coupons that I could rock this summer. At the beach. I just realized. Smart guy. His name is Brian. I just barely remember that. Brian. DW. Arthur. And Buster. Thor 2012. Oh wait. Let's see what we got here. Payson. Articulate icon. Arm just Coming soon. I think leg just sounds way better. 78 olds will be dope riders for her. Thor 2012. Yes, 78 olds with some uh, some spoke wheels. I think it has to have the spoke wheels, though. Uh, Tony says he's down with leggers. All right, thanks for flipping, Tony. You're now down with leggers. Sweet. Payson, roundhouse kick for days. She does have a roundhouse kick action. Not sure if everybody saw it earlier. She can do roundhouse kicks. All the time. The movie is just going to be two hours of roundhouse kicks from Scarlett Johansson. Just roundhouse kicking everybody. And everybody's going to watch it because it's Scarlett Johansson. So. Chalor, you can get that black wood in a four pack for only $600 off Sideshow. Woo. Yeah. Why are they 4.5 points of articulation? Um, I think it's because they wanted to make sure that they had this hair sculpt on point. This is exactly how Scarlett Johansson wears her hair hard like this. She puts a lot of hairspray and mousse, um, and it keeps it 
that style. So anytime, like, say, for instance, you see Scarlett Johansson walking down the street, he said, hey, yo, Scarlett Johansson. She can't just, like, whip her head around. She has to turn her whole body towards you and be like, that's me. I'm the Black Widow. What's up? And then you can be like, oh, nice hair. And the toy has that same exact hair. Payson, I'd watch that. You're going to watch that. Like I said, two hours of Roundhouse Kicks in the new Black Widow movie. And I'm only saying that because I actually received checks from Disney. So I wasn't in a Marvel movie per se. But I figure since Disney still sends me royalty checks, technically I'm like the step cousin to the MCU. So that's how I kind of get my, my heads up on stuff. Wolfpack Tour Review, you should be a professional fig poser. Thank you. I hope to aspire to be that one day. Thor 2012, Hank Labs, all right. Let's see, Hasbro picked the right man for the job. Thank you. I'm glad they did, too. But we can't forget the headless Iron Man figure that they sent me. Knowing that the world wants, you know, they had that new Iron Man coming out with the hologram head. But now they're going to be able to get that Iron Man with the full custom head right on top. So. Look out for that to be done quickly in the future. So that'll be sweet right there. Keep the hairstyle action figure. There you go. Pay some. Mickey Mouse is like your cousin. Yes. He's that cousin, though, that like you don't really want to be like, hey, that's my cousin. Like you just like if he if he tells someone he's your cousin, you're like, yeah, he is. But you won't go out saying it. Now you won't be the one to say it. Oscar Reynoso, so Idiox is part of the MCU. You know, technically it is because Disney bought Fox and Fox, 20th Century Fox, owns the rights to Idiocracy. That's who produced the film. So, yeah, Idiocracy is in the MCU. This year, when I filed my taxes, I only had to file from Disney, I didn't have to file from Fox. So, that's a good point. I'm twice in the MCU. Once for, uh, what show was it? Was it Friday Night Lights? I think it was Friday Night Lights. They were Disney. Were they Disney? Pretty sure they were Disney. No, Friday Night Lights was NBC. There was a show called uh, American Crime. They were Disney. So now I'm like, not just a step cousin, but like the step cousin that you kind of think is sexy. And you're like, I could totally bang them because we're not blood related. I'm that kind of relation to the MCU. Adam Gonzalez, then I can't wait for your figure from Idiocracy. I'm actually upset about that. A few years ago, I looked for uh, Idiocracy, I guess, merchandise. And there was actually a page that said Idiocracy action figures, wave one coming soon. I can't find that page anymore. And it also, it's been like, I don't know, eight years or something since I saw that. So I don't think that's happening. But that would have been very cool to have Idiocracy figures. I totally would have bought them all and pretended that they were all me. Because only like four people have seen Idiocracy, so I could have lied. Spider-Man 2099 makes a half-second cameo in Idiocracy. Yeah, he's dressed as Scarface. That's why you don't recognize him. Wolfpack Toy Review. So you're like a Tennessean cousin then. That's the one. There you go. I'm a Tennessee cousin to the MCU. So our babies might come out with four legs. Team legs. Let's see. Ricardo, are you going to be in the last episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier? I'm not saying that I'm not. But then I'm not saying that I am. uh, But... If you see a person in the far background that looks kind of like me, don't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. It's not just some other random bald dude with the with the beard. It might be me. So we'll see. Oh, yes. And then we come to the dial piece that can be used as a landing spot. 
right there. For the people that weren't here earlier, uh, all one of you. So landing piece right there or a fantastic car complete with leg holes so that you can sit all Fantastic Four characters, figures into that right there. It is one six scale, so Scarlett Johansson is not going to fit. But that does fit it right there. Thor 2012. Sunny is going to be hanging with Zemo. Um, please do not spoil the ending for everyone. I would like for them to see that for themselves. The Wolfpack Toy Review. You were one of the flag smashers with the mask. I recognize that head anywhere. Okay. You got me. I was the guy that has the really long hair coming outside the mask. They had me grow it out for the show and I shaved it right away because that's not my look. Uh, let's see. You know what? Maybe I should make a head for this guy right now. Oh, do I have materials? I have materials. All right. So does anyone want to see a full customs exclusive go down right here, right now? By show of hands. I can see into all of y'all cameras. I can see all of y'all at home. By show of hands, who wants to see a full customs exclusive as I make the head for this figure? I'll wait. Okay, Thor 2012, all right. Ricardo, okay. Spoiler alert, Sonny's a power broker. I sure am. Oh, I should not have said that, but yes, I am. Uh, Chalor, you could use some, what, take some fresh used gum and sculpt a new head. I could, all right. Okay, we got some more hands coming up. And again, y'all can post little hands in the chat. I can clearly see using the cameras that are facing y'all right now through your cell phones and stuff. Should be a show of legs. Oh, okay. Everyone put your hands down. Show of legs. Thank you, Chiefs Toys. Going with Team Legs. Show of legs. Who wants to see exclusive full customs crafting that head? Show of legs. All right. So we got some legs coming. All right. Okay, we got some uh, some groovy legs. All right, I like them. All right, where are my materials? Had them here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I gotta figure out how to. Uh... Oh, Chandler can't find them just like cannonballs. Oh man, Chandler phone don't have legs either. Oh man, we we'll have to fix that. Might have to send a like go on and chat uh, with your phone provider. There we go. Chamba got the chicken leg. Chicken legs work for me too. All right, so. I think we got some legs showing. That's good. Mr. Cortez got the sexy leg going. Okay. I like the sexy leg going. I, Mr. Cortez, I believe that's like the Salma Hayek emoji. I think that's her. I could be wrong, but I'm probably not. Uh, let's see. Tony is posting negativity again. All right. Okay. All right. Wolfpack Toy, I can neither confirm nor deny that Sonny will be a guest on my 800 giveaway stream this Saturday. Cannot confirm or deny. 
Uh, Wolfpack toy review. If you're gonna be coughing, I'm probably gonna say no. Um, I only got one shot so far. All right, let's see. Chat or there we go. Pants that works. We can pretend feetless legs are in those pants. I'm down with that. I'm good with that. All right, so first things first, we gotta get this. For some reason, I bought clay. All right. I'm gonna have to sculpt the head real quick. That might be too big of a head. Because it's Iron Man. He's a big brain. But we'll shave off a little. There we go. Mr. Cortez. Salma Hayek's legs from dusk till dawn. Those are nice legs from dusk till dawn. They were nice in uh, Desperado too. All right, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So we got the basic Iron Man helmet shape right there. Get a 360 view for that. And if this comes out good, I will definitely start a Kickstarter for that. Which means I'm going to start a Kickstarter for it because it's going to come out amazing. So we just plop that head right on there. There we go. Give it a little bit more, more shape there. Okay, and if you're, if anybody out there is wondering where I learned how to do this, I am self-taught, so I'm not giving anybody credit for my skill and the product that I make. Totally self self-taught. Thor 2012 holographic head Iron Man head sculpt. Uh, so it's not going to be the holographic one. If it were, I would have used this stuff. But it is going to be the full customs one. Let's see. Miss Cortez 12. All you need is the tequila. I was going to take a shot of tequila on the show. But then I realized I don't have tequila. So shout out to anybody who's drinking right now. Oscar Reno. So Sunday's new casting cave. Probably. We might, I don't know, we might have beef after this because he'll be like, oh, man, you're stealing all my people. Uh, thanks, Adam. It is looking real good right now. Very good. Very good. Mr. Cortez, I mostly remember. Let's see, where am I at? Some legs from any movie. There you go. See, Joe figured it out. Now team legs. I have not heard single person compliment Samayak's arms. Child was close. Talking about the booty. She wanted to gain weight for that role, but she could add another 40 pounds. I wouldn't have minded. it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to take some of the. Uh, I don't want us to give away my secrets, so I'm not going to tell you what exactly this is, but you can make your own guesses. And we're going to wrap that head right around there. I'm going to change the title of this to uh, Unboxing Slash Full Customs Exclusive Iron Man. There we go. Get it wrapped real good and tight. All right. So we're looking good so far. Just got to add some fine detail to it. Let's see where my trusty... Uh, you should always uh, keep a Sharpie marker in your pocket um, in case you need to work on your action figures or tag a bathroom wall, one or the other. Uh, let's see. There we go. Got some good Iron Man detail here. All right, there we go, and we're all done. Put my Sharpie marker back in case I hit a public bathroom later. And let's see, can we see? Get some shading over it. There we go. Oh, look at that right there. 
That doesn't say Iron Man nothing does. So that is the full customs Iron Man head prototype right there. Uh, let's see. You blocked all the arm support. Yes, totally did. Arnold and Carl Weathers arms from Predator. Sculpt it with your legs. Stop using your arms. Okay, got me on that one. I didn't want to sculpt it with my legs because I'm not as flexible as I used to be. I can't put my legs behind my head anymore. So I had to do it with my hands. Let's see. Or let, let me know or let them know what block you're from. Kickstarter full custom. There we go. Looks a lot like RDJ Oscar Reynoso. Thank you. Fignata masterpiece. There we go. Shallow or oh, no googly eyes, or as I call them, eye mape. Independent moving articulated pupilide pupiled eyeballs. I like that name. Chamba Iron Man Chrome Dome Helmet. Yes, that's the one. It actually gets better reception for Jarvis in this helmet because it's made of foil. I mean, it's made of a secret material that I use. Uh, let's see. Bruja Paula, when is the pre-order for this customs? Um, tonight. Midnight. It's going to start pre-orders. Thor 2012. Sonny's custom armor is so custom it actually has a 112 HUD heads-up display in the action figure. It does. You just can't see it because no x-ray vision. The beard is solid on that. Jet House Barber type accuracy. I think it's pretty accurate. If my camera, my camera, there we go. The one time my camera just perfectly because they want to show that off. Illuminate, aluminum armor. Yes. Mr. Cortez, one, two, iron wrestler. There we go. It's like the luchadora, Tony Stark. There we go. And in fact, you know what? Since everyone's being so nice here, we're going to give him some full custom blast effect right there. So now he can blast at people. That blast effect right there. And because Tony's here, right there. Little propulsion, full customs effects right there. And this, they do drop off once he hits a certain height. Articulated, what's going on? So these are the famed Sunny Full Customs. Awesome. There you go, Full Customs. Live and in effect. Matt R. Solar charge with reflective power action. That's what it does. That way it kind of, you know, gets all his elements going. There we have that right there. Let's see. Chowler, that's some slick metallic silver paint on that head. It really does look like real metal, which Hasbro did as half as good a job as Foil Customs. Like I said, we may or may not being works to work with each other i'll leave that to uh dan yoon and ryan and dwight to uh announce that on their twitter channels let's see thor 2012 that's that fold again but that's a good thing mark 99 iron man armor there we are right there is the kickstarter going to have the infinity foil gauntlet once we hit a hundred thousand backers, that's when we're gonna get that. Don't worry, we're gonna reach that. If Haslab was able to get what twenty-seven thousand for their Sentinel, I'm pretty sure we can get to a hundred k backers to get that full customs Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos the Mad Titan. Eat a can of ham and the doctors will go away. I like ham. I don't know that I like ham in a can though. Oscar Reynoso is the Kickstarter going to have the Infinity Foil Gauntlet once we hit that 100k. Only chance that we're going to get that. 
Uh, articulate. What's your favorite cereal? So you know Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the knockoff one. Um, what is it? Cinnamon, Cinnamon Toasters, the one that's in the big plastic bag. That's my favorite cereal. I just bought a bag today. Thank you for asking that. That is a valid question. I only like it because they like, they're like, we're intending this for poor people. So put a whole bunch of sugar in it so they forget about all their troubles. And I love that cereal. Omar Vasquez, what's going on, man? Late team legs, baby. There we go. Wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm tripping. I could have been doing this the whole time. Oh, wait. There we go. Team legs. Oh, uh, Thanos Mad Titan. What about foiled legs? Foiled legs it would work too. Just make might end up making a whole foiled customs uh war machine. So we might do that again. Uh Thor 2012, yeah, foiled again, armored's good stuff. Sponsored by Rental Trap. In collab. Thanos the Mad Titan, what's your favorite color of milk? So some of y'all might not know, but back in the day, Nestle Quick made banana flavored Nestle Quick, and it made your milk yellow. That was the most delicious milk ever. It's like if you just added sugar to your milk and then mixed it with a banana Laffy Taffy. It was delicious. So yellow. As gross as that sounds, yellow milk is my favorite. Thor 2012, the Infinity Four Gauntlet will come with precious jewels like root diamonds and rubies. So, that can happen. I actually have some raw uncut rubies that I once I bought off of eBay because I was dumb and was buying whatever I could off of eBay at that time. And I bought raw uncut rubies from some jeweler or something like that. I don't know why. I still have them though. Uh, let's see. Wolfpack, blue milk, definitely. Never had blue milk. No, I've never had blue milk. Oscar Reynoso, microwave proof, toaster oven proof. In the microwave, you will um, release his psychic energy, and so it'll start sparking. So it's a cool effect that I do include with all foiled customs, um, but it's up to you. The only, if you're going to do it, use the microwave at work. That's all I'm saying. Jay's Figs. OMG. But thank you. Another banana quick lover. I'm glad we can finally come together. We still might be team arms, team legs, but at least we're team banana quick together. Matt R. I had it. I'm hoping you're talking about banana quick and not blue milk. Jay's Figs. I was the only one I knew that liked banana quick milk. Dude, I know like when they stopped selling it, I was devastated. Like, I legit thought my parents were just lying to me and not buying me the banana quick anymore. Shallow, mm, no. Yellow milk sounds appealing. As long as it's that vibrant yellow, not a weird urine looking. But that banana milk sounds good for some syrup. Now, nah, it was like a, it was like pastel yellow. Like, I felt like it was Easter milk. Like, I feel like you should always have yellow milk on Easter to go with your pastel colored Easter clothes. Thor 2012. Oscar Reynoso so microwave is the last ditch final move. Torches Nova Flame. There we go. That would be cool. Just like a kamikaze move. Pow. Omar Vasquez. This chat is way better than. They way better. The other one was just a bunch of people typing Cara Dune like psychopaths. LOL. <laughs> Cara Dune, man. That's wild that she's still like her figure is ridiculously priced. I try to. Well, I didn't actually look for her figure until I started watching The Mandalorian, which was like late into season two. And I was like, oh, I kind of want all these toys. And then she went off the deep end and made it crazy. Let's see, Thanos, Nat, Mad Titan. I wish Nestle would make pink milk already. Come on, Pepto Bismol flavor. Ooh, Pepto Bismol flavor. That way I could eat like whatever I wanted for breakfast, like pizza, dip it in some cereal, drink some Pepto Bismol milk, only have stomach ache. There we go, Chamba. Banana Quick was great. They got rid of that ages ago in Australia, though. Yeah, they got rid of it here too in the States. But uh, occasionally, 
some gas stations, I would say maybe like maybe seven years ago, some gas stations carried like a little 12 ounce bottle. It was like three bucks, but it was delicious. Three bucks, well worth it. Let's see. Yeah, team corn. Uh, Chama, same here. Uh, he snaps his toes. Oh, that would be good. Snap your toes. At least 10 years since Banana Quick Milk has been gone. Chamba, yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> Cara Dune flavored milk. I don't know. That does kind of sound kind of cool. Chandler, since you can milk an almond and a soybean, surely you can milk a banana. Seriously, don't know why they don't have banana milk in the store. Or maybe they do. They don't. I've been trying to find it for a long time. Like I said, I found it at some gas stations. They had that little 12 ounce bottle uh, for three bucks. And it was delicious while it lasted. Thor 2012, it's salty. Adam Gonzalez. Okay, I read that part. Were they right? Yeah. But yes, banana milk was delicious. In fact, I'm probably going to start a change.org and be like, hey, we need more banana milk. It's the way to live. We have too many people that don't have banana milk in their life or Caradoon flavored milk. That we need to do some sort of change for that. Let's see, Jake's please. Y'all have I find banana quick. I'd be happy again for the one minute it takes a drink. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> that's what's talking about it. And when I would buy it, I'll buy like two or three at one time. So it was kind of very expensive snack drink or whatever at that time. It was like ten bucks, and I drank them all in one sitting. Adam goes out. Does it taste like banana milkshake? It tastes like banana heaven. I probably should not say that on the live stream, but because uh, that sounds like it would be a strip club name. Let's see. But yeah, it's delicious. It's real creamy. Let me drink this nonsense drink right now. Let's see, Oscar Reynoso, gotta go. Have a good night, fellas. Main stream, Sunny has proposed. Hey, man, thanks for stopping in. Always appreciate it. Thor 2012, do not repeat Banana Heaven. Although if this whole toy review thing don't work out and full customs don't work out, totally opening up Banana Heaven. Banana tastes like heaven. Sounds sus. Uh, later, Oscar. And also... Alright, it looks like uh, one of my dogs came to find me for whatever reason. Hey, she wants to make an appearance. I've had my parents on the show. Might as well have my dog on the show. There we go. So everybody say hello to Food Stamp. This is my dog, Food Stamp. Right here. Right here, Food Stamp. Nope. Nope. Camera. Camera. Right there. Oh, that would have been cool if Hasbro Pulse had gave me a dog. Look right here. Right here. Just being shy. There you are. So this is food stamp. She's been here for uh how long you been here? About ten years? On earth, not like in my house. She came when we came to the house. Uh, let's see here. Great name. Thanks. I love whenever they say food stamps name like Pet Smart when I take her to get her nails trimmed. They're like overhead like food stamps. Food stamps ready. Ready at the grooming salon. Everybody just looks around all crazy. Shadow like banana hammocks free with every KFC purchase. Oh, if you don't know that reference, it's from a sketch John Goodman did as Colonel Sanders. I'm going to have to look that up. I like John Goodman. And I like KFC. Hasbro should release a banana milk himself. Yes, there we go. Omar Vasquez, Doggos for Life. We do have, yeah. I'm definitely a dog person. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on, hold on. I missed this. 
Omar Vasquez works at Whole Foods and they got banana milk for eight bucks. Dang it. Hey, but what size is it though? Is it like a half gallon? I'll buy a half gallon for eight bucks. Oh, I went to Dairy Queen and beat up the machine for buckets of cream. I'd pay to watch that. Have you ate Dairy Cream? Ate at Dairy Cream or Dairy Queen? I just realized. Uh, Adam goes on. So food stamps came with the house. Uh, no, we brought it to the house. Although if we ever move out, I'll be like, she's staying here. She made it her home already. I don't know where she went. Uh, but yeah, Omar, I need to know how big is this eight dollars? Uh, eight dollar banana milk. I'll be at Whole Foods tomorrow if that's the case. Dairy cream is sold at Banana Heaven. Oh, okay. Sort of like a, a pick me up. Okay, I can deal with that. It's not banana milk. Sorry. Oh man, sixty four ounce Jace Fix Chamba. I don't know if y'all have uh, Whole Foods over in Australia. If y'all don't, my sister works at Whole Foods at the head office. I'll have her tell them that they need to make one out there. And so that way you can get that $8 banana milk. Let's see. Jace Fix, I'm out there tomorrow. Yeah, man. I might, have to, I might have to hit my sister up right now and be like, how come you had to tell me the banana milk at, at uh, Whole Foods? I can't believe she would do that to me. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, she sent me a meme. Oh, there we go. I'm going to tell her, hey, fool. Y'all sell banana milk at Whole Foods for $8. And I went ahead and put a question mark, exclamation points in there so she knows I'm serious. All right, let's see. Mr. Cortez, one, two. I remember them old food stamp bills. Yeah, I used to buy those all the time from the crackheads. Like, I would go to the store. I'd be like seven, eight years old. I'd walk to the gas station. And they'd be like, hey, mijo, hey, mijo, you want to buy some food stamps? And I got to have a dollar. So it's like I could either buy chips and a candy or a soda and a candy. And I'd be like, yeah, let me get, I go, I got a dollar. So then they give me two food stamp dollars. I get chips, soda, candy, oatmeal cream pie. Those are the days, man. Thanos Mad Type. My friend got a bucket of cream and beat a loony bin in the Thought Thinker in a parking lot at Burlington Coke Factory. Man, some crazy stuff goes down to Burlington Coat Factory parking lot. So I like going there. All right. Shallow at Thanos the Mad Titan. Dairy Queen really has some good chicken sandwiches and stuff. It's un underrepresented. Better than other places for sure. Just like AW Fast Food. A AW Fast Food is good, man. And it used to be real cheap, too. I used to like that. Jay's Figs, man, this ain't quick. Oh, man, what? Dairy free banana milk? Hold on, hold on. Let me. Omar, we need some further explanation here. Dairy free banana milk. Oh, there we go. There we go. Omar says he's going to snap snap a pic and send just in case she's lying. She better not lie. I'm like, where's, where's that banana milk? But I want it to have dairy. I remember I had some almond milk one time. It was disgusting. This girl was like, just drink it. And I was like, you're lucky I'm hungover and need something to eat. And drank it. It's disgusting. Thor 2012. Yeah, it's dairy free at Whole Foods near me. Oh, man. I wonder what would happen if you mix it with milk. Like, pour up both of them in a cup. I might have to do that. Also, because my sister's not responding to me. Very, very rude of her. Let's see, my acquaintance said that Nestle wants to own the rain. I hope they do own the rain one day. Nestle is a great company and they make milk 
unhealthy. I like it. She's not responding. She better not be asleep. I need to find out about this milk and see if they have it here in Austin. And if they do, like I said, uh, Chamba, I'm going to make sure she tells whoever her boss is that uh, she might look here, Mr. Whole Foods. Stop selling banana milk in Australia. What is milk made out of? I think it's made out of milk, if I'm not mistaken. Chowder, yuck, if it's dairy free, I ain't interested. That is very concerning that milk, especially the banana variety, is dairy free. But I might still try it. I don't know. Jay's Figs. Amazon has the powder for $10. What? Man, I do not know this. Nope, that's not Amazon. Amazon, all right. This is live. I know a lot of y'all watched other YouTube people. Um, as their reaction to the fan fest, y'all about to see my reaction to banana milk. Oh man, it pre filled it. Oh, hold up, man. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Jay speaks for the win. Nez quick. Banana powder. Maybe. Well, I don't even care about if it's lower price from other people. Y'all just gonna, y'all about to see me order some banana milk right now. Where am I? Go to cart. All right. Jay's fix for the win. Let's go ahead and uh, put that up there. Yep. Chamba, dairy free, disappointing. But guess what? Jay's figs hit it on the head. Amazon has the powder for ten dollars. Let's see. All right. Now I don't deliver there. Deliver right to my house. I hope this comes. Oh, man. Tuesday, I won't even be here. They're still going to send it to me, though. I need this in my life. Let's see. Maybe it's dairy-free. My bad. Okay. Who milks the banana? Got to pay extra for that. Can't post stuff. Uh, as odd as it is, drinking cow udder juice, dairy free is just weird to me. That makes a lot of sense. I totally get what you're going for right there. What is all this? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Thanos to Matt Titan. What if you put milk in the freezer and then when it solidifies, you can eat it like ice cream? I think you're onto something, but I think you need salt in there. I don't know. I'm not Amish, so I've never made my own ice cream, but I think there's salt involved. Adam Gonzalez is 14 minutes late, uh, stating that just found out you can buy a banana nest quick in Amazon. All right. Um, Y'all are really actually watching me order banana milk powder on Amazon right now. And place my order. I just ordered banana milk. All right. I wish, I kind of wish, I'm not going to lie, I wish Jay's Figs had hit me up privately. Be like, before anybody tries to scoop up all the banana quick powder. Uh, let's see. They said the first person to drink dairy was a pervert. LML. Probably. It's kind of weird how you would think to drink from a cow. You know, Nestle is going to re-release the banana powder in six different colors, different colors six months later from now. Yeah, it's going to be like banana powder. Blue. Blue banana. Yo, it's coming tomorrow. Jay Spigs for the win. Uh, hang on. Let me. I want y'all to see my G tracing chair real quick. Food stamp need to go outside. Not for you coming out the front door. Talk amongst yourselves, even though I'm right here. Go pee, fool. It's right there. There's grass literally right there. No, dog, not the sidewalk. There you go. 
right there. This is the weirdest live stream. I ordered Nestle quick, and I let my dog come pee. Hey, boo, get back inside. Now stop bothering me. I'm trying to live stream. All right, let's see. Matt R also ordered his Nestle banana quick milk. Mine will be here Tuesday. Mine will be here Tuesday as well. It's too late for me to order it for next day. Uh, there's Cheetos milk. That's not going to work. If there was hot Cheetos milk, that would work. Need to review on that banana flavor powder. There we go. That's going to happen. Jace Figs. Jace Figs is the hero for tonight. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's see. Found some at time. Yeah, we're going to review banana milk. Oh, man, that sucks, though. Like, I'm going to be drinking it. I'm trying to drink it as soon as I get it. I might have to take me some milk in the car and review it right then and there as soon as I get it. I had to deliver it at a locker so I could pick it up on my way home. I don't want Amazon to deliver my banana quick. Neighbor sees it. It's like, I remember having that years ago. Snatched it off my porch. And then we have to have, like, a feud and, you know, I'm about to break out the brass knuckles and bust dude in the face. All over banana milk, because I will do that. It's that delicious. Let's see. Jace Figs. Oh, man, I'm going to change my daughter's life tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. DJ Omega Supreme, what up, man? Thor 2012, this is a real live stream man handling things. That's what we do here. Adam, that totally sounds like you're asking someone to say cocaine. LOL, send me a bit of that powder. Totally sounds like you're asking for cocaine. Taste the powder too. Without the milk, straight up just powder. Just spoon it in my mouth. That didn't sound right. Let's see. Are you going to mix the powder, banana powder, banana milk in milk? When I grew up, I was lucky to get milk mixed in my oatmeal. It was mostly water. You had milk in your oatmeal? We didn't have that. We had water. I never had that. I didn't even know that could happen. Sunny Montana banana powder. Adam, you still said powder. Oh, come on. Chamba is super pricey in Australia. Man, that's not good. Oh, man. I really wish you could get it affordable the way we are getting it. So everybody that gets their banana milk, pull one up for Chamba, who's in Australia and has to pay a high dollar amount for it. Let's see, sunny Montana. Can you put banana powder in almond milk? Uh, DJ Omega Supreme, that would be disgusting. $38 USD. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. That's that's pricey. But it's good. I mean. Yeah, that's a that's a that's I could see how you would be torn at this point. Let's see. Jace Fix said try different sizes. DJ, <laughs> there we go, right there. Jace Biggs, yeah, do not mess with almond milk. Mr. Cortez wants to. Amazon's like, why are we getting in orders of banana milk this time? <laughs> yeah. Amazon just ran out of banana powder. Chamba for 300 grams is $38. What did I just, how many, I don't know how much I bought. Let's see where to go. Oh no, that's not good. It says important message about items in my cart. Okay, yes, yeah, three hundred grams here as well. Oh, they have a three hundred gram three pack for thirty dollars. 
does that make it easier, Chamba, if you bought the three pack? I wonder how much it would be. Let's see. Chamba's more like that's a lot more grams than what we're getting. No, we're getting 300 grams, Jay. The feds weren't watching Sunny. They are now. All this powder talk. Yeah, they are. It's Michael Hernandez from the Figure Report. What's on? What's going on, man? <laughs> that's that. That's that Mezco price banana milk in Australia. Ooh, Chama, pay 18 and wait till the end of the month. It's a few more weeks, man. If you waited to the end of the month, I would wait to the end of the month to do the drink and the review. We would have that bond right there. There you go. Jake Spick says, wait till the end of the month. You waited years. That's true. We didn't think we would ever get it again. And Jake Spick just like enlightened us. Mesco banana milk for sure. Let's see. Pour some out on the curb for all the homies in Australia. Well, he's going to get it now. It's just going to be at the end of the month. It's all good, though. There we go. Chamba's waiting. It's been years. Get it, man. Let's see. Marco Hernandez. Not sure the context, but I love banana milk. Thank you. We were discussing banana milk earlier. Um, how that came up in this unboxing of the Fan Fest box. Uh, as anybody's guess. But I'm glad that you're also on Team Banana Milk. Oh, that's right, man. You're in Europe right now. That's right. I forgot about that. I was wondering why you said good morning. I mean, it's like it's not even 12 a.m. yet. But hey, yeah, good morning, man. Uh, I only know grams via drugs, not food. It's probably a lot less than drugs. There we go. Chamba's done. Chamba is on the banana quick train right now. My girls, <laughs> there we go, Jay's food. Oh, wait. Yes. My wife is going to wonder why I'm drinking so much milk. I'm not even sure that I should introduce it to my kids at this point. I think I should drink the first whole thing by myself and then introduce it to them. Because I've waited all these years. They don't even know it exists. So they're not really missing out right now. I think this one I'm going to do. See, Chamba says your kids will thank you, Jay. My kids will thank me after the second carton arrives. Uh, Thor 2012 is catching you up. We're talking in code regarding powder. For Adam Gonzalez's sake, he asked who could hook him up with some powder, and we quickly had to change it to banana powder. Does banana milk make your bones extra strong? Yes. I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to say yes. Uh, let's see. Chamba, got to introduce my nephews to this. That's a good idea. In fact, you know what? See, my sister never hit me up. I'm not even going to tell her that Amazon has that. I'm just going to keep that secret to myself. And some of y'all probably like, but she's going to see it on the stream. She don't watch my stream. Oh, there we go. Ian Hansen, what's going on? I feel I came in at an interesting point. This banana milk stuff got a lot of sugar in it. I think it's all sugar flavored, uh, banana flavored sugar. I think that's all it is. We could probably look at the nutritional facts. Uh, let's see. Has vitamin C, has calcium, has zinc, uh, has salt. What is this sugar free this whole time? I didn't know. I don't know. It doesn't say sugar. So to me, this means it's healthy now. Oh, wait. Okay. It has like nine grams of sugar. Y'all probably can't see that. I don't know why I showed it to you. Yes, it has sugar. Clockwork orgy. Banana. Interesting. Banana milk. That's what it's all about. What's going on, Chuck Civil? 
any love for banana nutrients? I don't know what that is. I'm going to need you to expand on that one. Oh, there we go. Jay's fix is slightly lactose intolerant, so it's going to be a good time. It's going to be like, this is one of those times where like, it's worth it, you know, to destroy your lower intestine. It's going to be completely worth it. Clockwork Orgy, Cerelac. I don't even know what Cerelac is. Let's see what Michael Hernandez. Going well, Gonzo, 7 a.m. Got to get the day started. I could use some banana powder, though. Dude, you're going to have to wait till the end of the month. Chamba had to order it for the end of the month because it was going to be way too expensive. So how long are you going to be there? I'm not sure. Order it, though. Ian Henson, not bad. LOL. Yeah, it's it's good. Stuff's delicious. Do you like banana paletas? Yes. Those are delicious too. I like those. Like them when they're uh slightly melted. Cause then it tastes more like banana milk. Hey, that's a good that's a good thing to, to do. It tastes like banana milk. Buy some banana milk. DJ Omega Supreme. Everything banana is fire. Let me think that. Bananas, fire, banana milk, fire, banana paletas, fire, banana raspas, fire, banana hammocks, fire. Yeah, everything banana is fire. Uh, let's see. Jay Spig says, whoa, pause. Not sure what we're pausing on. Let's see. Got to put up with the bubble gut for that banana powder. There we go. I I actually thought that said got to put up with the bubble gum for that banana powder. I was kind of confused at first. Banana flavor, J flavor. I think banana flavor is going to win. All right, Mikey. Adam Gonzalez wants you to have fun up there. Have fun for all of us up there. Oh, I totally miss chocolate covered frozen bananas. Those are good too. I do know the first time I ate it, I ate one though. It was uh it looked like a turd. Like I'm not gonna lie. It was nutty, it looked like a turd. I was kind of nervous about it, but it was good. Banana jelly beans, those are good. Banana laffy taffy is delicious too. Let's see. All right, well, I'm gonna wait for a few months so I can wait. No, order it there in Europe, and uh, it'll be there, I don't know, probably at the end of the month, just like Chamba. So, And y'all can toast up virtually together on April 30th. Banana milk with some banana bread. Dang. I like where your mind is at there. Uh, let's see. Figure it two. Peely. I never got that one. I couldn't. I've never seen that figure in stores, which I would buy it if I saw that. Strawberry banana? No. I think strawberries are disgusting. My kid likes strawberry everything, and I'm like, that's gross. Uh, we're going to have to go get a blood test. I don't know why he likes strawberry so much. All right, here we go, Chuck Civil. Nutriment is basically sugar, milk, Sold almost exclusively in bodegas. It's on Amazon, but only at Mezco prices. Interesting. Fortnite Peely. Yeah, that's the Peely that I want. Uh, It will go great with my banana milk. Fortnite Peely. Oh, hold on. Banana cream pie. Banana pudding. Banana bread. Banana beer. I've never heard of banana beer. I would probably try that, but I don't even like drinking beer that much. Look at that. Chamba. Yep, double combo. Chamba, I think you're going to be like the only person in Australia with banana milk. You could probably flip that at scalper prices for like eight ounces. You know, eight ounces, like 12 bucks for eight ounces. I think you can get that. See, banana muffins are good too. 
So I'm not just going to blindly agree with that one because I one time ate banana muffins that were made with the peel inside of it. That was disgusting. Like I asked who made these. I'm going to have to slap the taste out their mouth. They were awful. But most of the time, banana muffins are delicious. All right, I'll take your advice, saying You the man. Got to get going. Peace out. All right, man. See you later, man. Enjoy your time out there. I'm pretty sure we'll catch you on late night chats. It'll be early morning for you, but have fun out there, man. Be safe. Uh, is banana beer good? I'm not a beer fan. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm not a beer fan, but that does sound like I try it. Uh, blame it on your wife. Probably her fault your kid has good taste in strawberry. It is probably her fault that my kiddo has bad taste in strawberries. Banana and Nutella. My mom was up here. Actually, my parents were both up here earlier today, and we were talking about Nutella, and we agreed it's weird. I don't know why. Not a, not a fan of Nutella. I stick with regular old peanut butter. Banana and peanut butter? I rock that. Let's see. Banana cognac. Now you have my my interest here. Banana cognac. Ooh. I wonder if my liquor store has that. I'll be over there tomorrow if they do. Jace Fizz, with the pill, where were you? I was... See, this is why I don't like doing potlucks at work. People be bringing stuff. They'd be like, oh, Sonny, try this. I baked it. I'm an amazing baker. My husband married me because I'm an amazing baker. I was like, that makes sense because you're not a looker. So obviously you can probably bake pretty good. So I bit into it. Had banana peel. And someone was all like, yeah, my grandma used to make a banana peel. I'm like, man, it was awful. It was the worst thing that I could have eaten that morning. It's almost like I had to have a strawberry to try to take the taste out of my mouth. And I hate strawberries. But yeah, it was, I don't know. Apparently some people do it that way. Chiefs towards banana ketchup. Ugh. Nah, I would try that. I would, I'm not going to lie. I'd try that. Let's see, Ricardo, tell your kid strawberry flavor stuff is made. <laughs> what? That He might not. He likes, he likes butts. Like, he thinks butts are funny, so he might not. Adam Gonzalez, do you like creamy or nutty peanut butter? I prefer creamy over crunchy um, just because, like, I don't know how y'all make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I toast my bread or I'll fry my bread up and then put the peanut butter and jelly and then I'll dip it in my milk and eat it like that. And when it has peanuts, it doesn't doesn't get right texture. Let's see, Omar Vasquez is good. Tastes like banana bread slightly. Hmm. Interesting. Thor 2012 agrees with me. Banana cognac. That does sound delicious. Uh, let's see. Banana tea. Miss Cortez, you got my attention because I love tea. I like banana. I like banana flavored stuff. That might be interesting. At Jay's Fix. I'm sure that was their last day. It was. I reported them to HR. told them that they touched my naughty place. There we go. DJ Omega Supreme. Uh, they might be cooking food with the cat on the counter next to the bowl. Yeah. You know what's funny? There was a um, someone who at my last job uh, posted on Facebook they're like preparing my dish for the uh, for the potluck tomorrow, and they had their gerbils or hamsters. I don't a guinea pig. It was a big one. They had the guinea pigs uh, running around the table like in the video as they're preparing the food, and so nobody ate their rice that day. Let's see, Omar Vasquez wouldn't drink more than two though, just to keep it enjoyable. Okay, I don't know. I might I don't might get tired of one, but I'd probably try it. 
Oh, look, Chandler said, Jambo, Chambo, I was joking about the banana beer. Oh, well, but seriously, it does sound like an actual thing. That would be pretty good. I would try it. I would try banana beer. I tried that orange beer, that one with the sun. I forgot what it's called. But uh, that was weird. Banana beer, banana beer. Oh, man. Banana beer. Banana bread beer. Eight ninety nine. So that is the thing. For six pack, nine bucks. Shock top. I think that's what it was. Like I said, I'm I like I'm like Chomp. I'm not a fan of beer, but was it hard banana bread? I guess banana bread beer. I might try that. Mr. Cortez, once uh once stuff starts opening up again, I might have to hit up San Antonio. We'll go we'll go pop a banana bread beer together. What? Never mind, it says it's not eligible for shipping to Texas. That is uh messed up. So it looks like we cannot find it. In Texas. Oh wait, man, I'm learning all kinds of new stuff here. Chamba says banana ketchup is a thing. I had no idea banana ketchup was a thing. Let's see, eight ninety nine is cheap, so you know it's tough. There we go. Oh, Chuck Civil, he got a good point. You can make any beer, banana beer, once that powder comes through. That's true. I can make banana everything. I might have banana vodka. Who wants to see me throw up on camera? Because I'm pretty sure banana vodka would be disgusting. But I'll try it. Mr. Cortez. Yes, for sure. Yep. Banana beers. Have you had a banana Snapple? I have not. I don't really have Snapple. I don't find Snapple around me too often for some reason. Blue Moon Beer. Chowler, that was the other one. Someone was like, this is better than Shock Top. They were wrong. Still gross. Thor 2012. That's why they call it Potlucks, because the object is to get lucky enough not to get sick off the food people bring. See, I'm the person that when I'm like, I'll bring something to the Potluck, the Potluck, but it's like donuts, something prepackaged. So I'm never with the reason that people get sick. Banana ketchup is big in Filipino culture, says Tony. Interesting. I've never heard of that. There we go. Big in Philippines. That's cool. Banana ketchup. I'm sure we could find it here. We have like an Asian market. We have an Asian, small Asian influence community. Uh, not too far from me. They might have that. Let's see. Oh, so I thought you were drinking pure leaf tea. That's what I've been drinking for the last hour. The regular sweet tea one. Definitely better than gold peak tea, except the peach one. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking pure leaf extra sweet, though. This is the cut your foot off edition. So. Mondays. Oh, wait. Clicked the wrong one. There we go. Monday's drinking with Sunny. Red Stripe is the best beer. Red Stripe has some of the better commercials. I like their commercials back in the day. There's and Foster's. Those are good commercials. Mr. Cortez one too. Banana soda. I think I've seen that. I want to say I've had that. Banana soda. Oh, wait, I do banana soda and it's Snapple. Go bananas. Okay, maybe I haven't had that. But I can pop bottles of 99 bananas. Might get some of that this weekend. There we go. 99 bananas. 
not available to ship to Texas. What is with not being able to ship bananas to Texas? Or banana flavored alcohol? Is it Jufron? Hufron is the brand of banana ketchup. Man, banana ketchup. That sounds so crazy. But y'all eat it with like a French fries? What do you I mean? What do I put it on? Barren banana sauce, banana ketchup. That's interesting. Okay, cheap says any Asian market should have it. Yeah, we got some right here next to us. Banana ketchup is on Amazon as well. I think that one I want to go in store and see it. Also because I like going to those Asian markets uh, because you see a lot of stuff that you won't find here in American stores. When your kids were babies, did you ever taste the Gerber banana baby food? I didn't really give a uh, baby food. Like we had this thing that you put actual food in and like you smash it around and that's what we fed a kid. Like we didn't mess with the baby food really. Just like for a few Maybe a few months, but that's about it. But no, I didn't ever taste it. My sister did. She said it was all right. Not the banana one, but the, I think it was banana cream. It wasn't the regular banana. Let's see. Jace Figs. Adam, I've had baby food before having kids. Jace Figs, we all had baby food before having kids because we were all babies at one time. Yeah, dude. See, yeah, Chama says you eat some French fries with some banana ketchup. Oh, that's right. He mentioned hot dogs earlier. French fries, hot dogs, burgers, etc. It's like regular ketchup with a slight, slight sweetness to it, which is cool. I don't really like regular ketchup, but if it has sweetness to it, I try it. So it's like just banana mush. That's what you know. Is it just like the? When the banana starts to turn black, they just smash up that black part. We do that. Can I just get ketchup and blend banana with it? I'm not sure it works that way. Chalor says, used to love me some red stripe. Little brown medicine bottles that come in. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Need to give me a six pack to drink with my apple Ciroc. I'm only allowed one day a week for drinking. I do not like Ciroc. I am. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Ciroc. Any of their flavors. I don't know why. I don't know if it's. I don't know if P. Diddy is making a negative influence on me liking Ciroc. But I just can't get with Ciroc. But that uh, Apple Crown. that's That's a good drink right there. Let's see. Nah, bro. Baby showers and smacks always play that game that you feed baby food to the other person. Yeah. You know who didn't play that game? I'm not about to eat baby, baby food like that. Because we also had we've had that game for when uh, the last kid baby shower where we smashed up some baby food in diapers. And everybody had to smell it and they could taste it if they wanted to, to see if they knew it. And surprisingly, the girls who had like six or seven kids were the worst at playing that. So I'm like, oh, that's the one that their mom watches their babies. The cream mansion is making me really want some IBC cream soda. Go for it. That's actually not bad. DJ Omega Supreme. Brown liquor only. I can't do a lot of brown liquor. That's when I get like a uh, to quote other people, uh, a huge prick. That's when I become a huge prick, apparently. Thanos Mad Titan, taste the what? Yeah, taste the baby, the baby food. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't know why it's a thing. Chase Figs, baby food tastes great, as long as not nasty ones like vegetables. Yeah, I don't know. The vegetable ones smell awful, too. So I agree. Ultimate fanboy, late night stream. Yeah, what's up? Thanks for joining. You missed a lot of content. We're gonna call it. Since you just popped up. Fisher Falls cut foiled customs. Tony Stark Iron Man head. 
Uh, that was done live in the stream. There'll be plenty, plenty of photos later on coming up. Oh, hold on. Clockwork orgy. Banana ketchup and fried chicken. You know it, Chamba. Chamba, need you to confirm that one. Cheebs, you, you had that experience with that banana ketchup, too. I need some confirmation on that one. I kind of have, like, a feeling that would go good with some spicy chicken. But y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Can babies consume a steak? Yeah, but they'll probably be backed up for a day. All right, Clockwork Orgy. Chamba says facts. Fried chicken with banana ketchup. Might have to try that. Sounds interesting. Plus, I get to go to the Asian market. Fried chicken is amazing with it. I love fried chicken, so that's a good. Let's see. Is there oh okay? Jufran, Hufran brand banana ketchup. Six dollars for some banana ketchup. Regular ketchup is like a dollar and they give you a gallon of it. Interesting. All right. Thor 2012 with the Cliffs Notes for tonight. Ultimate Fanboy. There was a Hasbro Fan Fest unboxing, customization, and powder talk. And now we've gotten to the banana ketchup portion of tonight's episode I'm super curious about banana ketchup not gonna lie i don't like reg- regular ketchup though jace figs i'm in the same boat with you i don't like ketchup but i kind of want to try this banana ketchup i want to try banana ketchup with spicy chicken that's what i want i think that would probably be the uh what i'd start off with to go for adam gonzalez what it's your favorite fried chicken joint. Hmm. So if we had to say favorite fried chicken joint, it's going to be a place called Gus's Chicken, which there's some out there in the U.S. I know they're like big in Tennessee, I believe. But Gus's Fried Chicken is amazing chicken. It comes out too hot for you to hold with your hand, and it's also very spicy. And it's delicious. Anybody from Tennessee has ever had Gus's fried chicken? Y'all back me up on that. Mr. Cortez, you have to try Gus's fried chicken sometime. Next time you're in Austin, Gus's fried chicken, downtown Austin. Let's see, should spicy baby food be a thing? Uh, yeah, a lot of Hispanic people will give their babies spicy food. Uh, mostly it's to see their reaction to the spicy food like we do with, with sour food too it's kind of mean but it also helps them to like the food i guess mr cortez what if they made banana crown royal will you try it yes i think that would actually be pretty good yeah i think that would be dj omega supreme see you later man hope your banana powder is everything you remembered i hope so too thank you for those well wishes Chief Toys, I've had it mostly with eggs and Filipino breakfast with rice, but it's been a minute. I'd imagine that it'd be good with chicken since it tastes like sweeter ketchup. Interesting. All right, Chalor, let's see. Yeah, it's all I thought about when a friend gave me Syrah. Just put Jay-Z out of my head. Jay-Z. Uh, favorite vodka is Svetka. Svetka has good... Um, Orange cream. What is it called? Yeah, orange cream vodka. If you mix it with Sprite, it tastes just like a dream sickle. It's amazing. Uh, you get drunk before you realize it because you pour a lot. But yeah, Svetka has that good orange cream one. Ultimate fanboy. What do you dip your fries in? White gravy if I have it with me. French fries inside white gravy is amazing. Jay's Fig, my favorite fried chicken is Publix fried chicken. Never tried that, but I will definitely, if I see it, I'll stop by. Thor 2012, 
There we go, my man. Gus is dope. Sonny's right. Gus is amazing. Fried chicken. Like, before I was a supervisor at work, I would stop by Gus's fried chicken, and I'd have to make up excuses as to why I was late back from lunch. But now that I'm supervisor, I just go there and be late coming back to work, and no one says a thing. It's amazing. Let's see, fries either don't get dipped or barbecue sauce. Okay. Jay Spiggs does barbecue sauce. I do white gravy. But other than that, if there's not white gravy around, yeah, that's just, I dip them in more salt. Like you pour salt on your plate and then you bite the french fry. And if it's a little bit wet inside, you dip it like that, like it's fun dip. Keep dipping it inside salt like that. They got a Gus's out here. I got to go try that. Yes, it's amazing fried chicken. Don't go during lunch because there's a lot of people that go there. I wonder if they have Gus here in Cali. Well, I'm not sure, man. But if they do, try it out. Let's see. Have you ever had yuca fries? And I'm saying that because, yes, I have. Um, They were kind of bland. I wasn't a real big fan of them. Like, if I had the opportunity to eat them again, I'd be like, nah, it's cool. I pass. But I don't know. It might have just been the restaurant that I ate them at that they didn't make them good. But I really wasn't a fan of them. Oh, Thor 2012 says, Adam Gonzalez, there are several Gus's in SoCal. So, travel on down to SoCal. They're delicious. Chowler, what if you mix some Worcester sauce in that banana ketchup? That, and that makes great chicken steak chicken sauce. I don't know that anybody likes Worcester sauce to begin with. So, that might be weird. Thanos the Mad Titan, a dreamsicle. Yes, a dreamsicle. There's an orange ice cream that has white vanilla cream on the inside. And if you mix Svetka orange cream with some Sprite, it tastes just like it. All right, Adam's going to try some Gus's chicken. Sweet. Omar Vasquez has never heard of Gus's in Cali, but it sounds banging. Love a good chick's joint. It is. The first time I went there, uh, the owner of the franchise here in Austin, uh, I didn't eat anything. I don't even know how I ended up in there. It was during South by Southwest and I was wasted out of my mind. So he just kept, he brought me like a pitcher of water and like four glasses. I don't know what happened. Um, but then I went back and tried the chicken. It was amazing. Oh, Thor 2012. They need, they need some more details on Gus's chicken. Mr. Cortez, Gus sounds good. Going to try it next time I go to Austin. There you go, man. Chiefs Toys. Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken is the name of it. They got like three in SoCal I'm seeing. That's the one right there. That's amazing fried chicken. I shall be hitting the hay. I would dream banana powder and ketchup and getting that new full cousin Tony Stark yet. All right, Ian Henson. Thank you for joining and we'll see you later, man. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Chandler, I do get Sprite for the vodka. Take a shot and chase it style. But now I'm getting Sprite Ginger. Interesting. So that's the thing. Now, thanks for the info. I'll look for that orange cream flavor next week. Yeah, it's good. Spedica's pretty good. Um, I was introduced to it by a friend of mine who had like three or four different flavors of it. And then I happened to find that orange one and with Sprite. It was amazing. Thor 2012. Santa Ana is the one I go to. Omar Vasquez and Adam Gonzalez. There we go. Omar Vasquez. I'm seeing it now. Yeah, man. It's amazing chicken, dude. Let's see. All right. Yes. Thanks, Thor 12, 2012. There we go. Is the Hasbro Pulse box good with a side of fries? Apparently only if you have banana ketchup and banana milk as well with it. That's the only way that I would eat it, to be honest. All right. I love that. Look. Amazon's going to be like, what's up with all this banana powder being sold? Gus Fried Chicken going to be like, what's up with all these people hitting up Gus's chicken all of a sudden? Meanwhile, Hasbro's like, why is nobody buying our toys? What's going on? Because we're all at Gus's chicken or buying banana powder milk. Door 20, so I'm going to hit that next week. There you go. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, I won't be disappointed. That chicken is off the chain. Yeah, it's, that chicken's good. Um, their mac and cheese is good too, because they like make macaroni and cheese and then put some powder on it and then they throw shredded cheese on there. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. First, like talking about Gus Spring Chicken, like from Breaking Bad, Better Call Sal, like Los Pollos Hermanos. Oh, now not them. Actual Gus, world famous fried chicken. Chicken will save the world. There you go. Thor 2012. Thor 2012, 2021. Right? That's what that's what his uh, campaign will be. Omar Vasquez, yo, Sonny, how come we can't support with the super chat? Um, you have to be monetized on YouTube before you can accept super chats. I had someone else ask me that question, so I had to look into it. That's what happens. I haven't been, I'm not monetized, so can't do it in can't have super chats. Uh let's see. Thanos the Mad Titan, what's the hottest food you have ever eaten? Once I made a black chicken wing and my tongue started bleeding afterwards. A black chicken wing. I've never even heard of that one. Uh, I'm not sure what the hottest thing I've eaten. I actually don't like sauces for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't like sauces. Which is why I never really like ketchup. But I will try banana ketchup because that sounds crazy. Um, Not crazy like a bad way. Sounds crazy like it's might be good but i'm not sure what the hottest thing i've eaten because i only eat stuff that has like chili powder well i'll take it back we have um I, here in texas we have them i don't know if everybody has them but uh they're snow cones they're called diablitos and my mouth just watered thinking about them typically you use lemon flavor and they'll put like uh beer salt in it some people will squeeze real lemon juice on it and then they'll put chili powder on it. And usually you want to get them to put chili powder at the bottom, throw some ice, put some more chili powder, throw some ice, uh, throw the flavoring on it, squeeze some lemon juice, throw some beer salt, and then throw more chili powder on top. So by the time you get your snow cone, when you're mixing it up, it turns like a the color of rust almost like a real dark rust color and it's a hot flavor in your mouth and it, it can make you sweat but it's cold going down those are probably the hottest things that i've eaten depending on who makes them they're good even though they don't sound like they make any sense and the first i would say the first three that you eat you're probably gonna get diarrhea not even lying uh, let's see. Omar Vasquez. Great stream. Deserves it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Chamba, I'd love some mac and cheese right now. Dude, try it and put uh, shredded cheese on top. I don't know why, but that's delicious. I heard Korean fried chicken is really good. Never had it before. I've heard that, too. I've never had it. There's one Korean barbecue place here, but some people said it's not that good, so I don't know. There we go. Thor 27. Thor Hasbro should have put some Nestle banana milk and Gus Trump sticks in that fan fest box. That would have set it all off. Although I got it late, so it, the Gus's chicken probably would have had to be microwaved. You ever try Howlin' Ray's Thor 2012? That's supposed to be another bomb chicken spot. There you go. Look at that. Omar Vasquez tried some ghost pepper. I've heard that's. Uh, Pretty bad. One of my cousins loves hot stuff. And I think he's bit one of those. He didn't eat the whole thing, but he bit it. Clockwork orgy. You sure are right. Chicken will save the world. Mr. Cortez is really good. I've had it a couple times. Korean fried chicken. Yeah, I haven't tried it. I love fried chicken, though. Uh, I tried waiting, but it was too long. Oh, okay. That other place. Bong Chon is really good chicken. Okay. I really don't usually eat things with the word Chon in the name, especially if it's in the name twice. But I'll take your word for that. Howlin' Rays is a bomb. The line is nuts. 
Chamba says Korean fried chicken is great. I'm about to try that. I like fried chicken. It'd be nice to see how other pe- other cultures make it. Uh, let's see. Clockwork Orgy. Yeah, I love hot stuff, but my stomach will hate me afterwards. It's okay. If it's worth it going down, it'll worth it coming out. Uh, let's see. Cheap stores. I wish they had a late night fried chicken spot open right now. See, that's the thing about Gus's down here. Uh, during South by Southwest, they're open till like, I think 1 a.m. Because I stumbled in like at midnight and there and the owner was like talking to me about some random stuff and just pouring up water. I was like, thanks, man. I won't be arrested tonight. Thanks to you. Although I ended up walking home to my parents' house somehow. Uh, let's see. The Carolina Reaper. Apparently the hottest chili out there. And it's from the state I'm unfortunately in. I can handle heat, but nothing more than a pickled, non-pickled jalapeno. All right. Uh, line is always crazy at the uh, Howlin' Rays. Actually, Gus's fried chicken down here, the line is pretty crazy most of the time. Let's see. Need to find a place here in San Antonio to try to try the Korean chicken. Yeah, I'm going to try that someday. Door 2012. Keep waiting in line. Oh, for that chicken. Yeah. Let's see, have I ever eaten a hot doodle? No, not even sure I've ever, ever eaten a doodle. So, yeah, probably never eaten a hot one. At Chamba, what's the difference between regular and Korean fried chicken? Just in the spices or something different? I'd say the texture too. Interesting. I saw a Mexican gangster put chili powder in his beer. Is that a thing? Yes, that is a thing. People down here, they'll put chili powder in anything. Uh, like, so we put chili powder on our snow cones, which is delicious. Uh, I've seen people put chili powder in their beer, uh, chili powder on ice cream, chili powder on pickles. Uh, chili powder in a packet of Kool-Aid and then you eat with your finger. Uh, let me see. Chili powder on lemons. Chili powder on watermelon. Yeah, I feel like right now I feel like bubble gum talking about uh, shrimp right now. But yeah, they put chili powder on everything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everybody's laughing, but yeah, no, that's totally totally what they do. They put chili powder and everything. A Michelada has chili powder. There we go. Mr. Cortez backing it up. That is the thing in Texas. Yeah, chili powder on everything. Uh, yeah, I don't know something that they wouldn't put chili powder on. Chamba, I've never been to a Korean restaurant. There's some here, so now I really want to see if they got that chicken to try. Clockwork orgy, try chili powder on stuff. Just do it. It'll it'll change your mind. Oh, you know another thing? My aunt used to put chili powder on lettuce. She's also used to put Kool-Aid on lettuce too. And sometimes she put the Kool-Aid on the lettuce with a little bit of chili powder and just eat it like that. That's like the most unhealthy way you can eat a salad, but she'll do it. Adam Gonzalez, yep, Latinos love chilies. Or chiles. I mean, they, I'm pretty sure some love chilies to the restaurant, but yeah, they love they love hot, spicy stuff. Like I said, I don't mind the powder. You can put the powder on whatever, but when they start to make it like as a sauce, I'm not I'm not down with that. Like I did a TV show one time called uh, Chase, and in that role, they made me uh, eat. Uh, brisket sandwich and in the script they were like you're gonna put you can put like as the dude's talking to me i'm supposed to be pouring different sauces in my sandwich and as i go to eat the sandwich he's supposed to shoot me in the head and so i'm doing the role i'm doing the scene we're right there filming and i got my sandwich he does his lines i do my lines and it 
they're like, all right, Sonny. They're like, they put some sauces in front of me. It was ketchup, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and uh, was Worcester sauce, an A1 steak sauce. And they were like, you can pour all of them on there. He's going to pretend to shoot you. Scene's done. So I was like, all right, cool. I don't got to eat this sauce. I don't like sauces. So I put all the sauce in there. Like, I'm all going crazy with it. And I pick up the sandwich. And as I'm about to bite it, he's supposed to shoot me. The cut scene fades away. And so I'm about to bite the sandwich. And I stop. And I put it down. And the actor, the other actor his name was Robert Nepper. He was like, he goes, hey, man, he goes, I'm going to wait till you bite the sandwich this time. And then I'm going to, you know, then I'm going to shoot you. And I was like, man, but the script says, as I'm about to bite the sandwich, you shoot me. He goes, yeah, but I think it'd be better if I let you bite the sandwich. And I was like, man, look, man, the writers that wrote this script, they don't want me to bite the sandwich. It says don't bite the sandwich. I'm not going to bite the sandwich. And he was like, just bite the sandwich, man. I was like, I'm not going to bite the sandwich. The script says I don't bite the sandwich. He looked me dead in the eye. He goes, why don't you just, he goes, man, he goes, tell me the truth. Why don't you bite the sandwich? I said, I hate sauce. I just poured like four or five different sauces in here, man. This is disgusting. And he was like, oh, okay, my bad, dude. Well, let me go see what we can work out. He goes and talks to the director, and it comes back to me, and it's like, I told him I'm going to make you eat the sauce. I was like. So every take, I'm pouring all the sauce inside of my sandwiches. And after every take, I bite the sandwich. They yo cut. And I immediately go off set, go like far behind everybody. And I spit it all out all over the floor. So like there was just a spot after we were done filming. There was a spot with just like all these spit out sandwich pieces. And, and I was like, that that dude, he's not a nice guy. He's not. Now when I watch his movies, I tell everybody, I'm like, that, that dude's a punk right there. I don't like that guy no more. But. It was worse, and it made me hate sauce even more. Sorry, I went off on that little tangent there. Let's see. Uh, Kool-Aid on lettuce? Yeah. Uh, do they put chili powder in Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I never have. I don't know. My aunt may have done that. She puts chili powder in everything. Child, if, if you see it, give it a whirl, Chowler. There you go, child. Try that Korean fried chicken. Let me looking up their menus to get some this Saturday. There you go. They didn't have tapatio. No, they didn't have any tapatio sauce. There we go. Thor 2012. Don't bite the sandwich. Nice. Might order some for delivery this week at Chowder, but I reckon I'll pizza it up instead. Hey, we just pizzaed it up today for my kid. Because for some reason, we, all, we told him we would get him pizza today. Adam Gonzalez, why don't you like sauces? Um, I don't know. I don't like the texture of sauce I, for some reason. It's weird. I can't really explain it, but yeah, I do not like sauces. Except for gravy. And someone told me that gravy doesn't count as a sauce, and I was like, all right, I'll take that. Spider Do Productions, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining the live stream. It's like you and four people right now. We're just talking about Korean barbecue. No, I'm sorry. Korean fried chicken right now. You missed the banana ketchup, banana milk, four customs, fan fest unboxing. But hey, welcome. And right now we're talking about fried chicken. All right, let's see this. It's very interesting. Um, right now, I think we have people going to get fried chicken this weekend, either from Gus's fried chicken or Korean fried chicken, and people ordering banana milk. So everything's good to go. Adam Gonzalez. So do you like spaghetti? Not really i'll eat it but i'm not a big fan of it i do like pizza though that's the one time i'll give sauce an exception 
and Alfredo sauce. I like Alfredo sauce. I guess condiments. I should I should say I don't like condiments. If that makes any sense. Spider Dude Productions, you rewatch the stream. Sweet. Appreciate that, man. Chamba, it's a shame all the pizza, all the great pizza here is in convenient locations. Uh, oh, man, you can't do them because of major heartburn. There's a place, it's kind of a, I think it's a chain. Yeah, it's a chain called Sarpino's. They make good pizza, but it's like $25 for each pizza. It's kind of weird. So it's Masco pizza prices. Doesn't Taco Bell have a decent amount of sauce? Yeah, I don't get my stuff with sauce. I like, keep that sauce out. Although whenever I go with my wife, she loves the mild sauce. So I always have to say, give me a lot of mild sauce. And I don't know if that makes me look like a punk because I'm asking for all this mild sauce and she's not even riding with me. I just picked up food for her. When I should be like, look, I'm a punk. I don't even like sauce at all. I was like, but if I like the sauce, I'd go with the hot sauce. I don't like the sauce. But they're probably looking at me like, oh, look, here's mild sauce again. I bet Taco Bell, when I'm not there, I bet they call me mild sauce. Like, I just have a strong feeling they call me mild sauce. Do you like sauces? Nope. I don't even like vegetables. And sauces are made with vegetables. So, no. Let's see. Thor 2012. Gravy is too thick to be sauce. Or is it a sauce too? I've had that question that conversation with people at work before some people said it doesn't count some people said it's a side item like i don't think so but i don't know hey what's up brooklyn knights in the house they definitely call you mild sauce that's what i think i'm pretty sure my nickname is mild sauce with them so i should just made my i should have been the mild sauce channel and taco bell all those people taco bell would have followed me but yeah, I'm pretty sure my nickname is Mild Sauce. The pizza place, pizza place you mentioned, name you mentioned, reminded me of Sabaros, the pizza in the mall. Oh yeah, we have um, it's called Via Pizza here in Texas. Uh, but it has that Sabaros or Sabaros. I'm not sure how to say that. It has that name on it too. What was the one you mentioned again? I'm gonna look up that franchise. See if the Sarpinos. I'm gonna put these right here. Sarpino's Pizza. They have a uh, chicken Alfredo pizza. So it has Alfredo sauce base with mozzarella cheese with chicken and bacon pieces on it. That stuff's delicious. Uh, I gotta go murk my ham and Swiss cheese, Swiss sandwich maker. See you later, Sonny. Stay meat salad. All right, Thanos, the Mad Titan. Appreciate you popping in. Go enjoy that uh, ham and Swiss sandwich. I do like my steak without sauce. Me too. You don't get the real flavors that the cook intended for if you put sauce on it. Buffalo sauce on pizza. I've heard. I've had that. I've tried that. I wasn't a fan. I like my steak with A1. If it's a good steak, you don't need sauce. Omar Vasquez, same boat as us. Uh, who's this loser? Oh, Sarpino's Pizza? Yep. Chalor. Yeah, Taco Bell Foss. Taco Bell Foss. Taco Bell Fire Sauce. I like the Taco Bell package because they have like little interesting, uh, like, oh, this one's for you, my flame, and stuff like that. They're like horrible dad jokes, but I like them. Uh, it's the best. It says Clockwork Orgy. Yeah. The Mild Sauce channel featuring Pico, but without veggies. There you go. Man, I miss my home, mom's home cooking nowadays. It's all fast food. Man, we we slow we kind of slowed down on fast food with the pandemic, so we had to just figure out stuff here. I don't miss my mom's home cooking because she's always cooked the same things all over again like every day. I'm like, I don't want fideo and ground beef. Like, stop making that, please. She'd be like, no, it's cheap. I was like, I don't care. It's gross. Stop making it. Or she'd make uh, ground beef and potatoes, ground beef and eggs, 
a lot of ground beef in my life growing up. A1 steak sauce on a burger. I've heard that. I haven't tried it. Uh, let's see. Did you say ch- did you say chicken Alfredo base? That sounds great. Yes. Um, the Alfredo sauce goes right on the crust. Mozzarella cheese, chicken pe- grilled chicken pieces, and bacon on it. That's an amazing pizza. But you're gonna pay Mezco prices. I like that. That's a that's a term now. Because it's gonna be like twenty seven. $28 for that pizza. Ever had pastrami pizza? I have not. Not sure that's a thing here in Texas, but I have not had that. Steak with chimichurri sauce is fire. I'm going to take your word for it. Like I said, I like my steaks straight up in steak juice. How about all those Texan barbecue spots? No sauce with that stuff either. No, if it's made good, you don't need sauce. So if it's if if the barbecue's not flavorful, I won't go. If it's flavorful, I'll keep going back. You don't need sauce for it. Does your mom make good birria? I don't know. I haven't had her cooking. In, I don't know, 19, 17 years, 16, I don't know. Also, she stopped cooking for a good portion of my life, but uh, just because she's got lazy. And she, when I learned how to drive, is basically when she stopped cooking. She was like, oh, she was like, I don't care that you don't have your permit or your license. Just go real quick, Taco Bell, grab some food, go to McDonald's. Uh, carne con papa, yep. Carne con anything. Uh, let's see. Chimichurri is good. Had it at an Argentinian spot. Underrated. They can grill with the best of them. Interesting. I don't think I've had Argentinian food. I've had Chilean food, Puerto Rican food. A friend of mine, his nephew, had a Puerto Rican food truck. That stuff was good. I don't even know what half that stuff was, but it's good. Uh, yep, Mr. Cortez. Wait. Adam Gonzalez, the best. There we go. Slim's right. Bomb barbecue. Doesn't need sauce. It's all in house grilled. Exactly. You'll flavor it before, and that's how you get your flavor. Son, did you pick up that select hook? Oh, God. No, I didn't. Didn't know that. I hit up a. Uh, A comic book store, and they did not have it. So now, uh, Immortal Hulk. That Hulk does look dope, man. I keep seeing everybody do that. Is there California burritos in Texas? No, we call them tacos. Uh, when I was in California, the time that I was there, I went to get some breakfast tacos, and everywhere I went, they mean mugged me because I kept calling them breakfast tacos. I was like, "Excuse me, do y'all sell breakfast tacos?" And they're like, "Do you mean burritos?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Is that what I mean?" I was like, "Do you have something that you put breakfast ingredients inside a tortilla and fold it? That's what I'm looking for." And yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I think because they were like dissing me like that so much, I didn't like them. Uh, but no, we don't have California burritos here. We have breakfast tacos. Another good nickname, Carnick on anything. There you go. If I had a band, I'd totally call it that. Cuban food is the bomb. I've never had Cuban food, even though my I think my mom's dad was Cuban. Payson, what's going on, man? More flavorful than a Cobra Viper. Probably. Unless you put banana ketchup on a Cobra Viper. I don't know that yet. Dang, man. It's gone already? Yeah, I just saw that. It's gone. Marvel Select. Nope. Oh, they call it Rampaging Hulk. God. I thought it was under Immortal Hulk. Yeah, it sold out again. Dang it. 
I want that Hulk too, man. It looks dope. It was on a Tuesday chat. Ah, I must have missed that part. Sometimes I'll be on the Tuesday chat, but then I got to like get away from my phone because my kids are like, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm like, All right. Oh, got to select Hulk today. All right, man. That looks that Hulk very that looks very good. Like I remember when I first heard it was announced last year. I was like, man, that's pretty dope. Yeah, I'll keep checking around, though. It's got to come back. San Diego got the best California burritos. The next time I go to California, I will use the proper terminology and maybe my breakfast tortilla based food won't be made with hate, but made with love instead. It might taste better. Out here, we wrap, not fold. Oh, we'll wrap it and still call it a taco. Like, that's just the way it is. If it's in a tortilla, it's a taco. Let's see. Chowder, they got some Peruvian restaurants here. They were nasty. It was like, it was all like fruit and sweet stuff with meat. Didn't try their infamous, their infamous pet rat meat. Oh, oh I thought you meant pet rat. I should have read the whole sentence. Guinea pig. I think a Peruvian restaurant was where I tried those yuca fries, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Peruvian. But yeah, and then I had like some sort of chicken that they had, and it was, I don't know, I don't think they used spices on it or something. It was weird. Always got to get one when I go down there. Talking about California burritos. I think they have it in stock at Zabi. What is Zavi? I've never I've never used them before. I was trying to get the uh that blue or right, gray pants gin from Storm Collectibles, but uh I couldn't figure out how to work the website, so I couldn't order it. It's coming from China. It's, oh man, it's out again. Okay. I'll figure it out. Cancel my Zavi order once I saw it on pop up on BBTS. Ah, okay. Keep pushing orders back. I should just go check the uh, some different comic book stores here. I went to one comic book store to look for it, and uh, I swear I felt like I was in a library. Because everybody was real quiet. Nobody was talking to each other. But security was still kind of looking at me. So it kind of felt like Target. It was a very awkward experience. But they did have a ton of Diamond Select figures. Um, like they had the Psylocke, Juggernaut, Thor, Wolverine. I mean they had a ton of them. But they didn't have that Hulk. Rampaging Hulk. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. If you go to SoCal, go to King Taco. Best tacos ever. I think I tried to go there, but the line was long and I didn't want to wait. But I think I tried to go there. Finding him at a comic shop might be a better option. That's all I was trying to do, but. They wanted to be tight with their toys and sell out of them. Oh, it says Dorkside Toys has it. Nope, it says email when available. Man, that thing must be amazing. Must be amazing like King Taco. I ordered it on Zavi and I'll be seeing that in June or July. Dang it. King Taco love. Hulkbuster. Mm. I don't think I saw Diamond Select Hulkbuster there. They had a ton. Uh, where you go? Where you go to a comic and stuff? Uh, so I don't really. There was there was a place called Dragon's Lair that I'll go in occasionally here in Austin. 
to check out stuff. And then when the pandemic hit, like I just hadn't gone and uh, I used to just randomly buy whatever stuff, like buy something for my kids. If I saw something interesting, I'd pick it up. But then once the pandemic hit, a lot of them shut down. I hadn't really been there. But I decided to go to one called Austin Books and Comics. That's the one that had all the Dime Select toys. And then I hit that Dragon's Lair comic book store. And they had they had Rock Python. <laughs> they had uh, Sunspot. They had like four Marvel Legends there. And I asked them and they said they stopped selling the figures because... Uh, when the pandemic hit, nobody was buying them, so they put them all on clearance. And whatever they had left, they just threw in the back. And I was like, "Gah!" It's like, I wish I would have known they had clearance on that. J Speaks, I think Juggernaut is worth getting from GST. I, I, it looked cool, but they wanted like seventy-five bucks for it, and I was like, "Ah, I'm all right. I'll stick with my uh, Marvel Legends one that I got for dirt cheap from a dude here in Austin." The only California breed I can think of in San Antonio is Chipotle. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's Chipotle is disgusting. Man. I got food poisoning three t- the last three times I went there. I got food poisoning, so I just swore off Chipotle. No more Chipotle for me in my life. And then they went and put one like a mile away from my house. Payson, I know who the LA peeps are. Yeah, the one's talking about King Taco. Let me see. Oh, snap, Joe Fira. You ain't never lied. Best taco joint, hands down. King Taco. Always a line. Security in a comic book store is crazy, man. And y'all got security in Target, too. So it's not security, but it was like their bigger person that was kind of like looking at me everywhere I walked. I'm like, dude, chill out, man. I go, did you not do you not recognize who I am? I'm from the Sunday channel. No, nobody in Austin follows me, so that doesn't make they more people will probably recognize me from Idiocracy than this. Somehow. Comic shops around me are trying to sell them for 50 plus. Yeah, this one wanted sixty five dollars for them. Uh Dayland comic shops. Comic and stuff suck here in oh, San Diego. Oh, that's what it's called. Comics and stuff. I'll go down to Frank and Sons on the weekend. If I spot one for these price, I'll let you know. Cool. Let me know. So you're saying they had all the Marvel Legends hitters. They had all them peg warmers. And I'm like, y'all put them all on clearance. Those didn't sell. So y'all put those back on the shelf at regular price. It made zero sense. But yeah, they had like, I think they had the Wasp there too. Kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess they, they weren't big in action figures there. Let's see, Chandler says, my target straight up make no verbal attempt to stop shoplifters. They just tell them have a nice day according to one employee I know. When I worked at Target, I, I straight up, I pull switchblades on people that are trying to steal from my department. I was like, you're not going to steal from my department. That's just the way it is. And uh, they'd always play that whole, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, you're not supposed to steal either, but you're doing it. So why do I got to follow the rules? At the time, I was like 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I only worked there for three years. So I was that age and I was still living with my parents. I was like, they can fire me. I don't care. Like, my parents are going to kick me out. Like, so it was a lot more easier to be that risky with the people. See if we if I owe Sunny money, I know where to hide in the sauces aisle. Chipotle, yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, you look mad suspect. I always do. I'm aware. Kind of big deal. I'm gonna start saying. I'm gonna start going to comic book stores and just acting like they should know who I am. There you go. Just tell me you know the Wolfpack hype man. And yeah, uh, I don't know if Chamba's still on here. I don't know if Thomas is in Australia, but I'm totally referring to the Walmart door greeters as the Walmart hype man. That's like the best name that you could have for that, that position. I 
All right, let's see. Oh man. Oh, there you go. Chamba's still here. Yeah, dude. Walmart hype, man. I I wish they would change it to that title on the application. Like, okay, sir, we see that you're 87 years old. We do have a spot for you as a Walmart hype man, if you're okay with that. And he'd be like, okay, okay, yeah. Do I have to check for receipts? No, sir. All you got to do is be the hype man for Walmart. They come in. You say, hey, welcome to Walmart. They go on in. Your job's done. Exactly. More people would apply. There was one uh, older guy who worked at Walmart. My sister worked at one of the Walmarts here for a while. He started working for Walmart in like the 60s and was still working for Walmart in the early 2000s. And he was grandfathered in. That fool carried a six shooter on his boots as the Walmart hype man. Just because back in the day, like he can carry his six shooter on his boot. And I told her, I was like, they're going to let this old man. Hype man, carry that little six shooter on his boot. And she was like, "Yeah, his grandfather is." So we they can't take it away from him. I'm like, "Dang!" I go, "How did he feel when minorities started working with him?" I mean, you could kind of take that away. Like, I don't trust that little old dude. I mean, I was like, "Dude, barely walk." But I was like, "All right, cool." Let's see, flavor, flavor of Walmart. There you go. Give them a big old clock on it. Omar Vasquez says, sign me up. Omar Vasquez be Walmart hype man. Chamba, that's mad respect. Yeah, I respect dude carries a little pistol on his on his boot. That's what you're saying, respect. But dude was like very shaky. I would have been terrified if he tried to save my life. Gives me chills thinking about the groupies Walmart hype man would get. A all in pajamas. High praise. <laughs> LOL, old man Walmart. There you go. I trust him as far as I can throw him, said Sonny. Yeah, I mean, like I said, do carry a gun? Cool, carry a gun. Do try to save my life knowing that he's real shaky. I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm, I just, if there's, if I'm a hostage situation, situation, they got a gun in my head and it's up to him to pull his six shooter and take out the, the bad guy, I'm going to be like, you know what, man? Let's wait for a SWAT team to come. Let's get a negotiator in here. Let's, let's think this through. I don't want him pointing a little six shooter all shaky like that. I'm pretty sure I'll get hit with like at least three of those bullets and just for being at Walmart. Walmart groupies put out 100. I think... Yeah, I can agree with that statement. I also think that they probably put out right before they went to Walmart, while they were at Walmart, and when they leave Walmart, still in the parking lot. Let's see. All right. What is this? Okay. Man, now I'm like... I have no idea who that is. Okay. All right. What time is it? One eleven. Make a wish, everyone. No, I don't know. I think it's eleven eleven. You make a wish. But uh, then I'm gonna hop off because I hear my other dog crying now. So that one has to go outside too. Uh, but it, I do appreciate everyone who stopped through. Uh, we're gonna make sure we get some uh photos up of. Full customs Iron Man. Oh, wait, here's a good one. Have you ever seen a robbery? No. I have been accused of knowing about a robbery, though. Oh, there you go. 11 11 here on the West Coast. Wish for breakfast tacos. Make a wish for breakfast tacos. Oh, wait. I can't leave now. I got to find out. Omar, I need to hear more about this, about the robbery. Or not hear it, but I need to read more about it, I should say. Ugh, Kato tacos. 
Uh, Chamba, this has been a great stream. Sunday, that unboxing was platinum, like the Iron Man head custom. There you go. I wasn't get off, but now I got to hear about this robbery. They were robbing Taco John on Venice Boulevard. Oh, okay. All right, now I'm out. I'll be out of here. Appreciate everybody watching. Mr. Cortez, Joe Freed it out, Omar Vasquez, Wolfpack, Chamba, Adam Gonzalez, Cheebs, Thor, Payson. Let's see. As always, Sunday comes with the Ultra Fire live stream. Thank y'all. And for the rest of y'all, Matt R. Appreciate y'all coming through. Clockwork Orgy, as always. Uh, let's see. For some reason, this stream is a lot slower than this one. Chalor, good to see you again, man. Jay Spigs, that gin is not the one that I want. I want that exclusive Chinese gin. But I don't know how to order without trying to choose if I should go Octopus or Express. I have no idea what that means. All right, Omar, appreciate it, man. Chamba, thank you. King for the next one. It's Cortez. Good stream, brother. Have a good night, everyone. All right, everyone. Again, like I said, I appreciate it. I might try to chase down a Jin or a Hulk for while I'm waiting for this dog before I go to bed. But uh, again, appreciate everybody popping in, and uh, y'all have a good night. JD Prime Reviews, what's up? Sorry you missed it, man. About to bounce out.